Welcome to CTV Sports and the finals of the World Pro League 2024 Palm Beach Open, where we have Casablanca going up against Travieso. And what a shot right here of field number two. Looks amazing at the Grand Champions Polo Club. 79 degrees, perfect, partly cloudy, perfect weather for the four-legged athletes and, of course, the two-legged athletes. And look at that uh, view right there of the grandstand as they prepare for this 2024 Palm Beach Open final. I'd like to take this time and uh, let us know about our special guest, Tom Blake, who will be singing our national anthem. <laughs> Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light What so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight Oh, the ramparts we watch we're so gallantly streaming And the rockets red glare The bombs bursting in air Gave proof through the night That our flag was still there Oh, say does that star spangled For the land of the free and the home of the brave. And thank you, Tom. As always, what an amazing job there. And we have some amazing players ready to take the field. So let's take a look. Welcome to CTB Sports, and I'm Dale Schwetz, and of course, I'd like to introduce, well, my man, Augustine Tito Merlos. Augustine, thank you so much for joining us here as our special guest on CTB Sports. Thank you, Dale. It's a pleasure to be here, and we are approaching a great final. Yeah, you got it. So, uh, well, let's talk about it a little bit, Tito. You, uh, had an ama you've had an amazing season, been playing great polo with the Alegria team. Tell me a little bit about uh, the flow and the feeling playing with Alegria. Yeah, well, th thanks, uh, Dave, for that. Uh, we've been having a good season. We've been uh, missing, uh, missing a couple of goals to, to make it to the finals and to semifinals uh, yeah, uh, in the Palm Beach Open. And, um, but it, it's, it's been great. This is the third tournament we're playing together with Alegria, and um, we, know, we know each other. We've been Freddy, Sugar, and, and Jason, the great guys, great teammates. Uh, we have so, uh, a lot of fun, and we're doing really good. Yeah, I was going to say, it looks like a lot of fun. The team looks like you got a lot of rhythm. You play a very open style, of course, and we love seeing that. Um, so I want to talk to you a little bit about this. So we talk a lot about, and you know I talk about it. I talk about penalty shooting. I talk about how big penalty shooting is in the game. And uh, you are one of our top penalty shooters, believe it or not. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I know you knew that. <laughs> but, I mean, based on our numbers, you have been. And, uh, you know, that's, that's big. Tell me, tell me a little bit about it. Tell me what your, what your, how you prepare or if you were going to help somebody with penalty shooting, what you would tell them. Well, it's definitely, definitely practice. Uh, I mean, I'll tell you how, how my system works. Right. Right? It is practice. It is about timing. Uh, once you realize you have your timing, it just clicks, right. and then and then you start 
swinging easier and, and softer and trying to bring the horse to the right rhythm, which, yeah. is, which is absolutely the, the, the most important thing. This is a secret. Yeah. Train your horse as you train yourself and try to, to have a, an, a, a, a horse with good manners so you can hit the ball. Yeah, right? I was going to ask you about that. So, what, you know, you practice on all of your horses? Do you practice on each horse? All of my horses. All the horses. All, yeah, Which, because you never know when, when, yeah. the, when you're going to have the chance to find a penalty, right? Yeah, it's, no, very interesting because you know, we talk a lot about it, and you're the type of player who hits the ball like 60... Eight yards. Uh, yeah. Does that make sense? <laughs> I mean, yeah. funny, but but yeah. Tito's the one type player who, when you hit penalty shots, sometimes you see guys hit the ball. They hit the ball, you know, a hundred, you know, yards. It's, it's a sixty-yard shot, of course. And you see your shots. They go like this. So you seem to go up, and they drop. They seem to drop like between the sixty-five. It's, it's for the flagman not to run and, and pick the ball. <laughs> <laughs> no, but is no. it is is that because you have a very sweet swing? I call it. And uh, you know, have a very smooth swing, and it makes sense. Like you said, you you work, you get the rhythm down, and uh, that's a big part. Well, listen, first of all, uh, congratulations, former tango player. Tell me what the toughest rating was when you were coming from from five goals to ten. Or let's just say two to ten. What was the toughest rating? What what where did you find? Because congratulations on being a former tango thank player. You, yeah. Thank you, thank um, you. That's probably. It's a good question. Yeah. I think it's different for everyone, I believe. Right. But there's, there's, there's a, uh, a break point. Right. right. Yeah, the break around, point. around seven, seven, seven goals, eight goals. That, that's hard work. Okay, there you go. Well, we're going to take this time, uh, Tito and I. We would like to take a moment here at CTV Sports and the Grand Champions Polo Club to wish a very good friend and special individual, Bob Janavis, a speedy... Um, and positive recovery, and we'd also uh, like to extend our love to his family. And uh, get well soon, Bobby. Yeah, the accident, he's uh, doing well, so it looks like we're ready to go here. And, uh, well, Augustine Tincho Merlos, Tincho, well, what do you think here? Well, I think we're going to have a great a great game. I like I like these two teams. They're they're basically, I mean, if you look at the, the formation uh, on handicap, they're, they're just – one um, goal difference in between the formation. I mean, on, right. on the spread on the players, right? So it looks like um, they kind of play the same type of game, and, and it's going to be. I think it's going to be great. Yeah, no, very good point. When we were breaking it down, it seemed exactly like that. So let's go through it. You got to see the players, but as they start out here, right off the bat, they're going to come out and get it going. Casablanca. They're going to be in well, New Jersey's here with their white. Uh, jerseys, and they're going to put Grand Gansey at the number one on three goals, uh, Alario Figueres on number two at six goals, Rafino Benzadon at the number three on eight goals, and then Sapo Cassette, another for former Tango player, on nine goals. And uh, Travieso in their purple jerseys today, they're going to put Tony Calle at the number one on three goals, uh, Tamacho Pieres will play the number two on six goals, uh, Pipe Versalino will play the number three on seven goals, and Juan Mar Nero will play the number four on ten goals. And here we go. As Tincho was saying, very evenly matched teams. They play a very uh, similar style. It's going to be Rafino Benzadon looking for Sapo, and you're going to see this give and go happen a lot today. Sapo in the blue helmet working it down the field. He has room to work here. Versalino trying to get there. They get into the corner. Now, a little melee play. Well done here. They take it across, and I think we're going to get our first whistle of the day. Yeah, you were just uh, talking about teams. You can you can see that both teams has their best player as a number four. Ah, good point. So man. that means yeah. that means the strategy of attacking is going to be very very tidy. At, at, as as uh, as um, formation of uh, starting strong from the back and try to get a goal. Yeah, as, so they're, they're going to work it from the power from the back. You're exactly, saying? I ah. think both both teams can score easily, mm -hmm. but if you really pay attention, having both both good players at the back, they're not going to score easy on each other. Right, right, yeah, yeah. It's going to be interesting to watch. So keep an eye on that. Like you said, teacher was pointing out. You have uh, Sapo Cassette on nine, wearing the four, and of course Juan Martin Nero, Juan Mar, uh, on ten goals. On the move, it's going to be Sapo. And wearing the four, but running through a lot here early, Augustine. Now, on the move, nice play here by uh, Kaye as he makes the hook. 
turned around and controlled by Benzedone. They come together, and non-call on the play. Mallets in the air, no whistles, keeping it moving. Going to be Rafino. Now they get it inside the 30. Rafino working oh, in. Nice oh, man, he's going to get the goal. Goes by the whole team. Yeah, yeah, golazo. Unbelievable. I mean, unbelievable goal. Um, they can only do this, uh, in my opinion, Dale, for a certain time in the game. You can you can try to go around everyone right. the whole game. To try to go through right. everybody. Through everybody. I, mean, I got you. Right? So you're going to have to change it up, move it around. I mean, this is, this, is, this, is the, the, I mean, this is a great goal. It's, mm -hmm. it's teamwork because everybody was taking the man for each other. But this is one type of goal they're going to score. I think they're going to score some other different ones. Right. And it started with Sapo, as you said. Uh, or you see, it started from the back, from the number four, running that ball through. Now, on the bowl in, of course, any of our new viewers today, we are going to switch directions after every goal scored. That's the procedure used in the game of polo. And look at this, Sapo Cassette on the move once again. Sapo on the offside, back to the near side, taken out by Nero. And I like the pace of this first chucker already. 226 goal teams, and it is lit up here on uh, the field two here at the Grand Champion Polo Club. On the move, Juan Martin Nero, and he's got room to work. Wama leaves it behind. He's got players in the rumble seat following behind here. It's going to be Versalino. First touch of the day for Pipe. Now he's going to find Tamacho. Pierez. Now the rotation is Walmart's going to fall in behind and pick up the next play. Good rotation here by the Travieso team. Loose ball play. Pipe inside the 40. Nice hook in there by Grant Ganzi. Picked up and stolen out by Cassette. And Sapo will take mm. this one in the boards. Are we going to whistle on the player? Are they going to go to courtesy change here? No, yeah, probably courtesy change as the dead ball on yeah, the boards. Yeah, I think you're right. Because you know, it looked like Sapo was there in time, huh? Yeah, he was there in time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, Dale, we have to mention the field. Okay. The field looks in amazing conditions. Uh, as you can see, they started running, everybody attacking up and down. And I mean, the field is. They're doing a great job. Huge, huge. No, good point there. Uh, you, you know it. you played everywhere around the world, and you know to play at this level. And, of course, uh, the, well, the highest-rated polo outside of Argentina. How many Opens have you uh, played in, Augustine? Because uh, I know you've been. I think, I think there's between 18, oh, wow. 17, 18. I, 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 now, I've heard from a little bird flying by mm -hmm. that you actually hold the record for the most goals scored in one chucker. One chucker, one game. One game. One game. game. At Congratulations. At Palermo. At Palermo. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you and it was 17 or something like that? 18. 18. Yeah. Wow. Unbelievable. Yeah. Congratulations, man. I didn't realize that. Um, I, I'd heard different stories about different records being scored. I know Carlos had one record or something. I know Adolfo had one record. But they said, no, 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 no. Augustine <laughs> Tincho Merlos holds the record. So that's a, that's that's a, that's a, that's a huge feat, man. Congratulations on that, especially at that level, the highest, biggest, the highest level in the world, and also, uh, well, one of the uh, most incredible conches in the world. Yeah, yeah, definitely. The, the, yeah, yeah. That, I mean, that, that, that's that a, field is something else. That's the field that yeah. they say. Everyone I talk to, all the pros. Oh yeah, yeah. They say that they put that field at at all at, at the at the highest level. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. For for many reasons. And yeah. okay, so we did. Uh, Augustine was right. Tincho says uh, we have a courtesy change there, and that's a good sign that we actually had our first courtesy change with a fair play possession, mm -hmm. which means they were running and gunning for over four minutes there early to start off this final. Yes, yes, and it was quick because we only had one, one foul, now only was, only one call. Yeah, you got right? it. Well, yep, just That's, had the one right away violation. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, it's been, uh, they've that. been everywhere. On the move, picked up here now once again by Benzadon, Rafino. We're in the number three. You're going to get a little rotation here as it looks like Alario is going to fall in behind. Now it's going to be Fagettis. Alario riding one of the four grays. And they'll say, Teacher, you ride a lot of grays too. Or one yeah. season, I think you had like four or five. But Alario uh, rides three or four in the high goal. Picked up here across the center. Taken out. Nice play here by Pipe. Good defense by Versalino. And they're going to turn the defense into offense very quickly. But shut down by Sapo. Cassette. 
puts Pipe on his hip. Uh-oh, tries to turn it around, and it's going to be Tony Calle to get it out in front here on the bay. Pony Calle keeps it out in front of Rafino. Tony, now he leaves it behind. It's picked up and taken out by Sapo. On the end line, Cassette, can he keep it on the field? Well done, Tony Calle. Now opened up across the center. What a pass by Versalino to Tamacho Pieres and the high flag. Well, that, 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 that was a nice back shot by, by Pipe. Amazing back shot to leave the ball in the center. Look at that. Just before the line to leave Tomacho Pires by himself. Wow. Great pass, huh? Great pass. In a short, in a short uh, area of the field. It wasn't a, yeah. like a long pass. Exactly. Make it one-to-one. -one. That'll be the equalizer. Come back to center. And I think we are in for an incredible match here. As uh, Tincho and I were talking about, this this thing, this game has been wide open since the first bowling. Back to the center. Everybody fighting for a position here. And we're going to see that all day long. It looks like they threw that ball in. We might have a few players jump in the line. We'll see what they decide to do here. I, yeah, you can see Sapo. You, you can see in the, in the replay. You can see Sapo and Juan battling at the back. Yeah, I see. Which Wait, is that, that's going to be interesting the whole game. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. Good call now, right? Those two going to be. They're going to be trying. I mean, they're, they're. I mean, they're fighting for ball position at the back of the throwing. Right. Which is you have no idea how important that is. Sure. I mean, sure. Well, the possession and also I mean, remember team show at halftime. We're going to get all of the stats, so we're okay. going to be able to see the stats from the first half. And one of our uh, stats is going to be actually the bowlings. Okay. So you're going to get a good look at that. So we'll keep an eye on that, and uh, make sure you do not leave uh, the uh, wherever you're watching this game from, from your computer, from your television, from your phone, wherever. Do not leave before you see those halftime stats. Penalty five A. You called it in favor of Trevier. So, oh. and did that hit off a, another player? And go oh, out? Probably, yeah. It looked like a nice shot here by Wanmar. And good, good play by Travieso. I think it hits his own player. Yeah, it must or, have been his own player because it would have been a safety. I was, I was wondering if it was maybe a safety. All right, going to be uh, picked up here by Sapo. And this will be the final run of the first chucker as they are inside the final 30 seconds. Sapo checking his left, checking the right. Going to go with the big ball down the center. And look at, you called it. He, look, he's marked up. His, mm -hmm. uh, he's got Nero marking. So the Sapo. two number fours are marking each yeah. other. All right, picked up and taken forward here by Tony. Gaye. Oh, they're going to have time here. If they don't run out, oh, I think they're going to run out of time. Run out of time, yeah. All right, so that's going to end our first chucker play. One-to-one. -one. What a match we got set up for you. Great shot here of the Grand Champions Polo Club and our stadium field. This is the 2024 World Polo League Palm Beach Open Final.
Welcome back to CTV Sports. I'm Dale Schwetz with special guest Augustine Tincho Merlos. And once again, Augustine, thank you so much for joining us here on CTV Sports. It's a pleasure having uh, you here with us in the studio. And of course, Tincho uh, playing this season uh, with the Alegria team. And uh, well, you had a you had a good run here in the uh, in the uh, Palm Beach Open. They had two brackets in it. You had cross brackets, mm-hmm. and you guys played in bracket two, so you played the cross bracket, and uh, you had to play against Pilot, Calle Polo, and Park Place. Yeah, th- th- thanks, uh, Dale, being here. <laughs> no, thanks for being here. Oh this, yeah, this is great. oh yeah, yeah. No, I get to see. I get to see. Polo with a with a, a different view. Yeah, I mean, it's cool you're saying that. I was going to ask you how you feel about is, that. This is great. I mean, you see the, the cameras and and the drone uh, the whole time. So this is this is fantastic. Yeah. So they also remember when Augustine says that he actually has a he's in the studios with us, but he also has the ability to see all the replays and uh, everything that our tech are doing in the studio reviewing the plays for our instant replay official and i'm going to talk more about the uh the instant replay official and all of our challenges during our next courtesy change because this game has been just rocking and rolling right from the start and once again we're going to get a quick goal as it was one to one after the first chucker and watch this play right here and this is what uh uh, well, this is what Tincho said. Keep an eye on the two number fours, and they are have been on fire, and that's Sapo Cassette and Juan Martin Nero. We got Casablanca in the white jerseys. If you just joined us, Grant Ganzi, Alario Figueres, Rafino Bezadona, Sapo Cassette, and then we have Travieso in the purple jersey, Tony Calle, Tomacho Pierres, Pipe Versalino, and Juan Martin Nero. And at the moment, it is two to one, and it has been a wide open first chucker great game you, you you can see the goal before Juan Ma and Nero had to shoot from a distance because they're playing so close to each other and they're pushing and, and battling and there's no much room to to carry the ball they, you have to make decisions fast that's why the game is it's moving fast I mean everybody both teams are constantly attacking yeah Oh, you saw it. That's the way it was. So now, remember, we do have the two-point conversion in play. So any ball hit from behind the center line, mm. it cannot be on the line. It needs to be behind the line. It will be worth two points. And we do have the buzzer beater in place. So if you shoot the ball before the second horn and the ball continues and rolls through the goal after. Oh, uh, what a shot. Look at that. Sorry, there. Look wow. at that. No, what no, a go shot. for I mean, it. Sapo. One tap. From 140? Having his second best player on his left. <laughs> if, I mean. Wow. What a goal. 100, 140 yards. I, I was always wondering, Sapo, I'll tell you, because of the two-pointer, that maybe some of the players would bring it back to, like, you know, 10 yards behind the center and tap it one time and then hit it. But we haven't seen that yet. Um, but what a shot right there! Cause that ball would have went from center. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. Yeah. But, but he did, he hit the ball in movement. Yeah. Which you can you can you can hit it sometimes a little bit better. Right. Yeah, it gets a little when, momentum when you have the ability to do that. Right. I mean. Right. No, I understand. You need to have the timing. Well, you, have he, a, you know, you've been there. Ten goals. He's been <laughs> there too. All right, on the move here after a beautiful goal from Sapo Cassette, picked up here and controlled by Lario. <clears throat> Forget us. I was about to say that about Sapo. Sapo has a really good shot from distance, mm-hmm. always. Next shot, open shots. He has the ability to shoot from anywhere. Same as Juan Martin. We saw the goal before. He had one chance and he scored. Yeah, you said it early after that first quick goal. We got a play coming here where the ball's coming across the field there. Yeah. Quick line change. He took, I mean, Grant, Grant took his chances. Maybe yeah. he was going to get away with it, but it was too close. Yeah, and then you might as well go for that one there. Cause if you're, you're gonna, exactly, you're attacking, so it doesn't, doesn't yeah. hurt you that much, right? You got it. Going to go to center. Yeah. Now, we've had one ball from center, and it actually was not a 5B. It was a 5A, and it was hit by Santi Tocolino. Oh, yeah. So and yes, it, I, it and it was he hit it he hit it really low, um, and he was actually on an angle. Yeah. He wasn't he wasn't down. Yeah, the I saw I saw that. You see that? Yeah, yeah. That. yeah, yeah. So amazing. So here we go. Here's a very another good penalty shooter, he Pipe Versalino. He can hit the ball really well. 
And he's going to drive this one down the left side looking for Juan Martin. Why not? And picked up by Tamacho. Looking now for Pipe. And as uh, teacher was saying, everybody defending very, very well. And we got to spin around there. Now, remember, we do have the challenge system in place. Let's see what we got here. This ball changes right there, right? And kind of a weird little uh, line change, huh? We can see, yeah. I mean, the drone helped us a lot sure. to see the line. And then, you know, remember it, now, so let me go through that while they're talking it out here. So we do have the challenge system in place. Yes. Each team will receive one challenge per half. Yes. You, you know the system. Mm -hmm. uh, and also, you need to use it or lose it. They can challenge any call the umpires make, and they can also challenge the ball placements. Then they have you, if you get your challenge, if you challenge a call and you get it right, you receive another. You'll keep receiving them as long as you are correct. Mm -hmm. So we do have the triggers in place also. And you can trigger to see if a goal was in or out. You can check to see if the ball goes in and out um, on the sideline or on the end line. Anytime the horses come together on a hard bump, anytime the players come together on a hard sword fight, and also the umpires have the umpire trigger. So if the umpires yeah. disagree, then they can trigger, and that was a tr umpire trigger. And you can understand why. Quick line change, very difficult to see from the field. So they went to the trigger, and we have Pipa versus Leo with the penalty two. 30-yard shot. And so if the if they umpires do disagree, then that goes to our third man, IRO, and then he has the ability to look at everything exactly. you're looking yeah. at. And that that's been a that's been a very very is, helpful. I was gonna say that, which is a great system. Yeah, it's a great system. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna ask you about that. But we, try I, try not to have mistakes. I mean, to be sure, not to have mistakes. I mean, yeah. And that that adding the umpire trigger has uh, really raised uh, the level of the umpiring, and I think it's uh, the players have embraced it. Team show, yes. You know. Yeah. I you want to you want to get it right. So, all yeah. right. But after the penalty two from Pipe which is his first open goal of the day. We get a bowl in here and another whistle. Ball popped yeah, out. I don't see. Everybody's looking back. There's something go wrong there? It's probably, a, it looks like uh, the first two players in the throw in. Tomacho Pires and, and, and uh, Rufino Mazzaron, I think they clash a little bit there. Jump in the line or something? It looks like, yeah. You can see as you yeah. Can see, so you'll you can see. you'll you'll get another replay of it. You'll, like I said, teacher, you'll be able to see that as as it comes across. Now remember, we uh, as they are checking this one out, we were talking to Tito. We had the in the uh, Palm Beach Open, they had the two backs. Now we're gonna see it live. Let's see right there. I but, see what you're saying. It looked like when Tamacho was trying to leave. He actually a little bit, a little bit too soon. Yeah, a little, <laughs> you got that's it. Why. And it kind of looked like you put the, the horse's head kind of yes. caught up on Rafina. On Rafina, that's why they have, yeah, Casablanca has a penalty. Okay, so penalty five a. <clears throat> and which is another, like you said, TJ, it's amazing what you'll be able to see now in the studios, which no, you're used you're used to playing the game at thirty five. Oh yeah, now. this is <laughs> this is so good. Yeah, so here we go. It's going to be a 5A. They take it down, positive pos uh, possession here as they work it in. Loose ball play, Sapo back to the center. Met in there by Pipe. Pipe is going to turn the defense into offense, and we got Nero going forward. Wamar, and he is dropping the hammer on the chestnut. Or is it a bay? No, it's a chestnut. No, it is a bay. No. Yeah, it's a chestnut. He gets in there. Oh. Look at his tail shot. Great back shot by, by Hilario. And picked up and met. And there, off, yeah, on the other way we go. <laughs> and there we go. <laughs> the opposite direction is cassette on the move. And this has been the pace since the first bowling. Picked up here by Tamacho. Turned around. He's going to get going here now on the gray mare. Pieres works it by one player. Tony looking for a player. Now it's going to be Alario back on defense. Tamacho. Now Grant gets in there. Loose ball play. Well done by Fagetis. Turns it around. No whistle on the play. And here comes Casablanca. 
Rafino. Benzadone. And I think Tito, we might get another fair play bowling or fair play possession mm. for the Kersey change again because they have been running again for another good three and a half. Now Grant Gansey from 70 yards out. This ball goes right to Sapo. Oh, there you are. And another Golasso. So another goal. Teamwork. Oh. That was teamwork. One after each other. I mean. Great teamwork. So much of me that back shot that was I was going to be the last um, chance to engage for defense. So, yeah, and that's it. A good pass from Grant. Great pass. Yeah, and I like good. how Sapo stopped that play and pushed it. You know, kind of delayed the play a little bit. He was making sure nobody nobody was taking the ball and no horse was stepping on the ball as well, right? Yeah, you have to keep it clean and make sure you score or score. I mean, yeah, you said I mean. it. And we're going to get our courtesy change now. And once again, three to three. But uh, again, we get a courtesy change and very, very clean for two chuckers here. Great. Yeah. Great game so far. Clean, like you said. No fouls. I mean, they're trying to play fast, move the ball. Mm -hmm. I mean, like I said at the beginning, a similar formations of the team on handicap and. and, and both players, the best players being at the back. I think it's it's, it's going to be so much fun to see the tactics on both teams yeah. uh, throughout the, the game, right? Yeah, the chess game, as we say, is going to change <clears throat> as the game goes on. And, uh, well, you know, Travieso, they had to, they had the longest tournament. They actually played uh, the, five games. Yes, I was, I was just yeah. looking at that. Yeah, and... Uh, and the reason why was remember when we had the 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 uh, the three brackets mm -hmm. and you played in the cross bracket. We had the fourth bracket and they played within their bracket. And then what they did was there was one team in the cross bracket and one in, in the second place, the third place team in the cross bracket and the second place team in yes. the bracket of four. Yeah, they had a playoff. Yeah, and that was uh, Maltese Falcons against Travieso, yes. and Travieso won. That was like a mini mini quarterfinals. I mean, there you go. Yeah, yeah. So it was that extra chance. So they've actually played the most games to get here, and they've earned every bit of it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they have. They have. So back in the saddle, no pun intended. We got everybody back on, and here we go with about two minutes left here in our second chucker, three to three, Sapo. Cassette, working it down. You see, yeah, you see Tony, Tony Kaji doing a job on Sapo with the ball, and, and now I'm sure he's doing the ball, a job without the ball. Now right to Grant. Grant and look at this, double yep. G. Double G as a number one. Yeah, he's going to get his first of the day. And uh, so one from, uh, one from Grant, one from Rafino, two from Sapo. That's going to be four. And again, as you said, great passing, and it started with Sapo. Yeah. Back to back, yeah. the energy of the team right it's, now being Nero and uh, Sapo. It's so important for both teams that the number four, their number four, organize the attack, right? They get it going it's, for sure. They get it going, and uh, you see again, you see Juan Martin gets the ball at the back of the line and then starts to attack. You got it. Got him going forward, and everybody moving once again as we click down about a minute left here in the second chucker. Once again, very clean. Both teams keeping each one of their play, their shooters off the uh, penalty line, which uh, makes sense because you have two great shooters. Turned around and controlled by Juan Martin. Nero's got room to work. Juan, Martin, Nero. Will that ball stay on the field? Oh, might just roll a little wide. Bad luck there. That ball will go off the side. And now, do they manage the clock here? I would think they would. But we will see as time clicks down. And, yeah, as the clock goes tick, 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 that's going to go ahead and end our second chucker. We'll start our third chucker with a knock-in for Casablanca. Stay with us. We'll be right back on CTV Sports.
Okay, welcome back to CTV Sports. I'm Dale Schwetz, and once again, we are live with Augustine Tincho Merlos, our special guest today. And uh, Tincho, what do you think about the first two truckers? I think they've been really fast. Fast. We see both teams uh, presenting a system that is working for both because they're scoring uh, fast out of the lineup, especially. But at the same time, we, as I mentioned, uh, um, a few times already, uh, they they have both players, the best players of each team. They are uh, on defense, are uh, backs number four. So but playing, playing very offensive minded, huh? Very offensive minded, but yeah. at the same time, they're fast. I mean, they can they can attack, and in the next second, they're defending. <laughs> they're back. So <laughs> that's crazy. They're it's, I mean, a, it's truly amazing. Yeah, like, seven. You, yes, sorry, seven goals in two chuggers is it's it's really high. Yep. Yeah, right? no, we were looking. We were looking at a high. Uh, we were looking at a very high game. And with Casablanca, their first game they played against Pilot, they went fourteen to eleven. So then they then, that, they then they went out their second game. They went in and they went into an overtime, ten to nine, and uh, then they won their next game, fifteen. That was high. <laughs> to, I, that was a great game against Kaya, and then they won, and then they had a they had a a, a bath a bloodbath against the Audi in the, in the semis. It was uh it was a six. They uh, went back and forth, so they uh they uh but a very very tight games as uh and we'll talk more about the road <clears throat> to the finals uh for Travieso. <clears throat> but here we go, four to three, and uh, as teacher was saying, a lot of goals being scored here and not money fouls. Very clean. We get a change of possession, a cop on the pitch. So that ball goes out of bounds, and they'll give possession to Casablanca, and it's going to be Sapo, who's already scored one from 140. I mean, look at all. Hit the post. And he got, look at this. Look at that. Wow. Well done, Alario. Well done, Alario, picking up uh, the bounce out of the, off the post. And that's another uh, one from Sapo, about 140, 130? A list. What a great shot. Look at that. Cut the post right there. And when it, when it hits uh, Dale, when it was about to hit the post, when it hits the post, you have no idea where it's going to go. Right, right. Because it's, it's a round post. You got it. So, For Larry to judge where he's got to go. Exactly. And Teo Kasi was just committed to go close to the ball, and he didn't see the ball. I mean, he couldn't catch the bounce. Yeah, I think yeah, it looked like uh, Tony was going to try to save the goal. And it bounced that way. In advance of the bounce. So, no, you, you, you said it. You said it, Team Joe. Yeah, not an easy play. But not what an a, easy play. What a, what a shot again by uh, by uh, that, that Sabo. Play, yeah, great shot by Sabo again. Uh, but that play is a place you have to go. You have to get there before it hits the post or you have to wait. Yeah. If it, it, the bounce. Yeah, yeah. So we have, we have remember, both teams uh, still have challenges. Uh, they have not. Yes. They have not used their challenges yet. We had one trigger. Earlier in the game, which you even agreed was a great trigger because it was a quick line change and and did did uh, did Sapo meet the pack the wrong way? Very tough to read from the field. I think it's going to be a lineup, a throw in here. Yeah, we'll see what they decided here. It looks like because uh, I didn't see a, fo a clear foul there. Okay, so basically they, they they had they had they disagreed on it. They checked it out. Yes, and no foul on the play. No foul, as on the you play. said. Yeah. So uh, that's your bowl in from the center of the boards, and Juan Martin, Nero, around the corner, Benzadone, and here comes Rafino, and he is rolling on the chestnut pony, gets out in front. Nero, is going to push Alario, but Alario is going to reach way out in front, and make a hook on. One warmer team. Now they get into the corner. I think a ball still in play. They can throw a blanket over five players as they're right there clustered on the line. Now they leave the ball for Sapo. Cassette gets in a bit of a sword fight with Nero. Nero wants to get out of the way, and now we're going to get a, uh, a whistle on the play, and uh, we'll see what they decide on this one. That was a battle. Yeah, right here. Get in, get in. Yeah, he doesn't really have time to hit, I don't think. And then you get hooked, right? Yeah, Sapo, yeah. Jump a little bit over the line. 
And yeah, then and then you try to get out of the way. Try to then, get out of the way, but but the, the, the other player behind it, it's fouling because yeah, he gets made the hook. Yeah, made the hook. So you got to give him one play. One play, yeah. 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 And that can be kind of difficult sometimes on the polo field because if you're if you're not looking exactly at, at your other players. So it looked like Travieso wanted to move this one down to a 60. That's a big move. They were, yeah, they were, they were yeah, thinking it was a little bit more. But, it, I mean, you get confused because you don't want to give Another play to a 10-goal player. No, no. Right? I, I, you just you want to cut them right there. I agree. You, you want to go. I, I agree. So yeah, sometimes. Yeah. So they're going to drop this ball at the center. And looks like he's going to be Wama, Nero. He's going to tap one time, and then he's going to get the outlet pass. Nobody on, on Pipe here. And now the rotation by Tamacho. Pipe, from about 80, shoots it across. Nero's going to get pick it up, gets a rub by Ganzi. Everybody comes in there. Now they're going to have to give him one play. Shot on goal. And that's just uh, very patience, right? Is the virtue teacher? Yeah, yeah, very patient, exactly. He, he waited for everyone to get a, 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 a. Yeah, you see that. I mean, we see the replay. To get a, a, out of his swing and to clear his little path to goal. Yeah. He took. Yeah. And if not, they foul him. They foul him, and he gets, yeah. And he gets the open goal penalty, too. Exactly. So, he, so he, he, it's a win-win for, for Nero there. Yeah, he was very patient and very smart. Yeah, so that's going to push us that's gonna push us into our final courtesy change of the first half. And this game is flying by, um, Tincho, as you said, very clean. Let's look at the uh, road that uh, Travieso had. Okay. They played against uh, Senfes, and they won 10-9. to so, good scoring there. They were their second game, they played the Aspen Valley team, and that was Kaye against Kaye. Yeah. And they won 8 to 6. Then they uh, they got against uh, they got against Audi and they actually this game, this is a game that they actually lost. They lost 11 to 5. Uh, Audi was very very strong um, that day, again, remember Audi did go to the semis. Yes, it wasn't a good matchup um, yeah. against Travieso. Yeah. Yeah. And then, and then they went, uh, they went uh, against the Maltese Falcons, or they actually, they went, yeah, they went against the Maltese Falcons. This was where they got the second place. Yes. With because Audi went first place. Yes, in, exactly. In, 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 in bracket three, and so they got up against Maltese Falcons. They won ten to eight again, and then they got against Pilot. And they won their semifinals ten to eight. That's something about ten. <laughs> look, something about ten. Look at they yeah. won they three games. They won with ten. Yeah. Ten. 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 Yeah. Amazing. So they've had the yeah. longest road, as we were talking about. Arsene and I were talking about. Uh, they had to play five games. Yes, one more game. But that 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 game actually saved them. So. No, of I, course. I don't. I mean, they weren't worried about it. No, <laughs> <laughs> it was that extra game that then I love the way the tournament committee set that up to give it up. All right, we got everybody back in the saddle again. Once again, back on the field here after our courtesy change, five to four, very close match here in the first half, and um, clean polo. And as uh, a teacher was saying, we're going to see a lot of different plays. And did that ball get buried? Uh, yes, uh, not anymore. Nine more. They let it get. They let it get kicked out, right back to the man who kind of stepped on it. So that's good luck for, for uh, Sapo. And here we go. Grant, Gansey working it down the field here to center. Tony goes for the hook on Alario. Neutral play there, again on Gansey. Little pump fake by Nero. Sapo and Nero, as you said, we're gonna see that all day long. Yeah. They're gonna dance all day. <laughs> And down the center, picked up here and met by Rafino. And Rafino's going to turn the defense into offense. And now oh, here comes Sapo. Rafino going down the center here. Sapo's going to elect to keep this ball as Nero is playing the defense. Now the deep next shot, but Wanmar in a perfect position. And he'll escort that one off the field. Yeah, that was a, that was a, a good play by, by Sapo and Rufino. Passing the ball to each other in a short, short game and Sapo trying to shoot the ball. Yeah, tough tough on. part there is Nero in the middle there. Nero had to go back there. Yeah, I mean, play the defense, right? Play the defense, yeah. 
All right, on knock in here, they're going to switch it up a little bit. You will see Pipe take the knock in sometimes, and now it's going to be Wama looking for Pipe. Versalino, positive polo play right here. Look at the give and go. Looking for Nero. Well done by Lario. Forget his leaning way out to hit that ball backwards. Now Grant. And will that ball stay on the field? No, went out. But that was a good clear by Grant. They're defending. You need to take the ball away from the area. That very, good, very, uh, yeah. Very uh, well done. But now this is a tight one here, right? Sorry? You get a change of possession. Yes. And they're yeah. only about 80 yards from goal here. So opportunity, nice ride off by Benzedone. But look at the Travieso team lined up nicely here. Now it's going to be Tamacho. That looked like it went off the horse. It does go it went, off, yeah. off the pony. Off the pony. Turn around and here comes Casablanca. So, can Casablanca extend this lead here? One minute left in our first half as Sapo works it down. Alario working very hard on Versalino behind Cassette. Now it's going to be picked up. Oh, and you are going to hear a whistle. And remember, both teams still have challenges here, uh, Teacher. So I mm. wouldn't be surprised if you don't see maybe one used with 46 seconds left. Exactly. Before halftime, right? Mm -hmm. Because if not, maybe. Well, if not, they come together. Well, it looks that's like kind of interesting with Tamacho coming one way and then yeah. the Casa player coming. So they'll check this one. Not in, again, not an easy one. Let's go. Let's go to a breakdown. Remember, we are going to have our stats after this. So remember, stay with us. And Teacher, I want you to take a look at those stats and um, kind of give me a, a read on what you think. But uh, when we went through the. Um, the Palm Beach Open, and I want to thank our IRO uh, slash third man here in the CTV studios. As you know, we were checking this out and we realized that Kaya Polo, um, Tito, they only challenged one foul the whole season, they only challenged ball placements. How they? Yeah, so that'll give you. Here's the play right here where they come together. And it kind of had uh, Lario coming in there. And then. Yeah, the replay shows that Lario probably goes under Pipe's swing, trying to challenge. Right, so kind of coming ball. in from behind. Yeah, from behind. Yeah. So, and Pipe saw that. He played smart too. Mm -hmm. He saw that and didn't swing at the ball. Tried to get a. Okay, so they did have a challenge on the play. And Casablanca did challenge. And they're going to lose their challenge. So good job, Tincho. They have. Yeah, they will. Okay. Yeah, you, uh, you, yeah. you, you get your certification. <laughs> <laughs> you get your umpire certification. You pass the first. I pass the test. <laughs> okay, good. But no, oh, isn't, isn't that interesting? I was talking. Okay, so now, okay, now which is great and makes sense is uh, Travieso now is going to challenge the ball placement. Yes, absolutely. Why, why not? Right? Exactly. Not a bad, you, not a bad challenge because mm -hmm. you, if if they don't get fouled there, um, you know, should the ball get moved? And I would say it will get moved. You know, so we'll see what happens. Because it's kind of an interesting. was swinging that way. You're right. So it has a, a immediately attack. Yeah, especially if they drop it from the spot, it's definitely an interesting uh, uh, challenge. I think it's a good challenge. And look at you see, I mean, is it really smart? Uh, challenged by Travieso, given 46 uh, seconds into the. Th okay, I mean, so you again, it's a Tincho again. You, you got see? it. Yeah. You're gonna, you're, you, you, you're, 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 you're killing it. I already. understand a little bit about this. <laughs> <laughs> I figured you do pretty I, well. Did you like no, the umpire? Well, Did you like the umpire? Yeah, it's pretty, pretty. Did you yeah. like to? Because I remember. Okay, so they went from a, they had a penalty they had from the spot on the on the foul. They challenged these spots to move to a four, four, and they won their challenge. Great, yeah. So, and, and I think a great job by the by the three man team, yeah, by the umpire team. Good job, good you job. Know? Because that challenge, I mean, could change the game, right? The challenge. Mm -hmm. Now keep an eye on this team show because this is how we uh, we we review the penalties if we have to. Here comes Versalino. And that's how we tell whether it's in or out. That's very clear. Yeah. So, and if we needed to trigger that, 
that's how you that's what, what okay. you would see. Okay. Yep. So what a way to end the chucker. You get the uh, equalizer. Great challenges. Um, and I think both challenges were good. You might as well challenge. Um, I like to challenge, even though here it is. Here's your here's your uh, stats. They should be pretty close. If you look down the board here, and don't see anything really big. Maybe no. maybe the throw-ins seven throw to four. Is, yeah. Oh, uh, fouls committed. Casa. Casablanca a committed bit more, six but, against two. Yeah, yeah, but more penalty fives. Yeah. So there's some uh, great stats for you. And once again, all right. So uh, well. Uh, Augustine and I are going to take a little break and here in the studios, and uh, we'll let both teams get in their tents, work it out with their coaches and their trainers, and we'll be back for the second half of the 2024 World Pole League Palm Beach Open Final. My name is Nacho Estrada. I'm from Argentina, eight goals. Hilario Figueras, five goals from Argentina. My name is Martin Jauregui. I'm my handicap is six goals. I'm from Argentina. Silvestre Navillo, and I'm from Argentina, Buenos Aires. I'm Tomás Pérez from Argentina, and I'm six goals. Francisco Spinacci, and I am from Argentina, Buenos Aires. I'm Juan Bolini, and I'm a three goal polo player right now, but it could be eight. And, uh, I'm from Argentina. I oh, know, actually, now I'm American. No, here is a, it's amazing. The view, the, the fields, everything is uh, super nice. Question is what I don't like about Spain. I think I like everything about Spain. Uh, the weather, the field. Right now in the summer, I would say it's the best club in the world. Friendship, the, the people, the, the scenery, everything. Eh? This is my seventh year coming in a row, and I feel like I'm at home right now. So me and the family were around like, like we know the place for a long time, and, and we enjoy the summer a lot. When I come here uh, winter and summer, I actually like Aspen more in summer. There's more stuff to do. All the mountains around here, like it's a pretty nice place, and it is nice to play because they are very good horses and I play with a lot of friends. No, I like the polo, the horses and the people. I like to do mountain biking and to go to the lake. Yes, going to the lake, uh, stay here in the barn, everything. It looks amazing, it's my first time here, but uh, all the, the, the things they, they're doing today is, is amazing, so I'm going to be uh, Enjoy, and I appreciate you to, to inviting me to be here in the, in the season. Christmas in July, uh, kids, are, kids are always looking forward for it. The day they come to Aspen, they know, they, they relate it with Christmas in July. It's an extra that they have here. I like Christmas in July because we like get all together and we receive a lot of presents. Opportunity. Santo Bellini gonna fire one from 60. Oh! Off the post.
have an opportunity. Santos Bellini going to fire one from 60. Oh, off the post. Welcome back to CTV Sports. I'm Dale Schwetz with special guest Augustine Tincho Merlos. And here's a good shot of our two teams that are playing. Casablanca, Grant, Rafino, and of course, Guillermo and Alario. Change up a little bit where Grant's playing the one in. Here's our uh, Trevieso team with Tony, Anthony, Tamacho. Lipe and Walmart. That's how they're lining up. Uh, the Casablanca team, they changed up a little bit and they changed this up. And uh, I've seen you could probably uh, kind of uh, talk about this a little bit. They they had it changed up before. They had, uh, yeah, they had Ilario Ilario playing back. As, and, yeah, as a number four, Sapo's a three, and Rufino's a two. Yeah, and they changed it. Yeah, they changed it. Uh, they put Ilario at the front and Sapo at the back. And uh, seems to be working out pretty good. Seems to be working great, yeah. Yeah, and I mean, in all at all levels, Lario's doing a great job at the two. Of course, yeah. And yeah. I did get that he was one of our special guests, and I talked to him about it. You, he's used to playing in the three and four position, but uh, he said he's learning a lot from Sapo. He really enjoy learning that. So he said any 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 position he likes to learn and and uh, you know work his way up. Now five goals, six goals in Argentina, actually on six goals, playing on six goals here in the World Polo League. And uh, here we go. So five to five after our first half, and it has been running and gunning, as we say here at CTV Sports. Both teams playing a very open, fast style. On the move, it's going to be Pipe, and he's got Tamacho Piedes by himself. Benzadone trying to get there, but Tamacho, well done. Yeah, that was uh, talking about Hilario. He's having a great season. He's playing really well. I mean, changing position and st keep playing well is not easy. Uh, so that speaks really well mm -hmm. of him. Um, yeah, the change of positions and and keep doing. I mean, they're in the final, so that was a, a good change. Sure, right? no, no, yeah, you know, it was it was good. Like you said, he said it was just something getting getting used to. But he said he loved the you know he loved the opportunities to try new. New uh, things. They've been doing a great job. Um, their breeding operation. And we're going to be talking more about the horses here. As um, Yeah, I mean, the horses are a, great, a big part of the game, of course. This is the final of the 26th the Palm Beach Open. And, and horses have to be at the, their best, right? You can see Teokashi, as I told you before, he's marking one of the top players. I mean, Rufino or Sapo with the horses trying to keep up with them. He's doing it really well. Yeah, if you don't have the horses. If you don't have the horses, you can't. Yeah, you so. can't You can't do it. And uh, we're, we're going to talk, we're going to get into that a little bit more. We get into our courtesy change because the Merloses have, as there's so many amazing breeding operations, but we'll talk more about it. Here comes Ben Zidone looking for Grant Ganzi, Medinaire, Tony Calle, and wow, what a play here. 
It looked like Rafino might have got in there in time, but Tamacho Pietas, I believe, is going to close the door here. Keep an eye on this ball. It doesn't make it to Grant. Tony cleans it up, and then right there. He found second player, right? Yeah, I think they're going to call it yeah. second player. Uh, I'll talk about this one here because it's got a little, a little, the play, uh, he comes in there. And is he 100% on the line? Remember, he's got to be 100% on the line there. I mean, challenging the first player was fine because you're challenging the ball, but yeah. you fouled the second player. Otherwise, yeah, when he's coming? Like, yeah, what you're saying, you have to be perfect on the line not to foul the second player. Yeah, I mean, well, the second player's got to be perfectly coming down the line. Oh, oh yeah. you're saying, oh, Tomacho didn't yeah. and have you'll a, see it right there okay. in front of you. Yes. Take a look at it. You're right. He has... But, but, but I mean, it, if or not, but they, they, I mean, it's going to... He has the line. Yeah, he's going the right direction. Okay, so he's there. As long as he's on a direction, he got it. So they, they yeah. did trigger. And uh, the good trigger here, but I can see where the umpires could maybe see, whoa, could one could see it one way. And one, because remember where they're positioned on the field, Tincho. He got one umpire one spot, one on the other. And uh, so they did trigger. And they are going to say foul. Yeah, and it's a penalty for because the first intention of the Travieso team was, uh, they were, I mean, Tony Kaji was an attack. Now, right? Yeah, and we're going to see. Uh, we'll check and make sure that, that so, was a, it was moved on a four based on the yeah. play, make sure there wasn't any other exactly. uh, anything Tony, else happened on the field. Exactly. Tony Kaji was gone. If um, So he was on a breakaway? In a breakaway. And uh, if he would have been challenged and fouled, he's probably, I mean, by the second shot, he was, he was going to go over the, the midfield. Right. That's why the foul is over the midfield and into the... Penalty four. So they move down to a penalty four, and just got to peep a second opportunity of the day. He is one for one, and now two for two. two. For two. Oh, <laughs> that was perfect. That was perfect. Wow. And he, he he's another uh, – well, I, I compare his shooting a lot to yours, his swing. But still, I don't understand how you hit it 65 yards. <laughs> you do. You go, yes, like you hit it up. It goes up in the air. It goes like 65, 66. If you check all your balls, they go between they go between 65 and 75 yards, I think. Yeah, you probably. I don't pay attention to that. I know. I pay attention to uh, that. Um, you watch it next time. I You're, just make sure they go over. <laughs> you just make sure they go <laughs> between, between the posts, right? Between the posts and, and to go over the... The guy's defending. You got it. Pepe's going to pick up another one, and that's going to make it 7-5. to five. And we got Lario on the move now. Forget us. Going to work that ball in out in front of Pepe. Well done, Lario out of the air. Oh, what a goal. Wow. Did Lario finish that two in the air? Wow. That's a unbelievable goal here. This is another golazo. Look at up out of the air. Oh, no. Oh, Pepe, Pepe tried to save it. Try to stop it and... Uh and put it in. Yeah, bad luck, but we'll give that one to Alario. Yeah, bad luck, but it was a good play by Alario. Yeah, very good play by Alario, and just bad luck by Pipe trying to save it, and uh, and he had to try to make a play. So, seven to six on the Bolins, and it's going to be picked up by Rafino. Now, take it forward by Sapo Cassette with the big ball it bounces off a pony though. Sapo's going to regroup here. Going to get a little help from Grant. Sapo on the near side, taking it around the horn. Tamachu comes in there, tries to ride him off. Loving the chestnut here. Sapo turns it back the other way. He gets everybody at a standstill. Now he goes with the lob wedge. He's going to loft that ball inside the 40. Controlled and taken out by Pipe. And we're going to click down to three minutes. That mayor from Sapo that you like, it's called Alicia. Okay. It's a mare from Nacho Badiola. Very, very nice. I know her. Very nice mare. Yeah, I like the way she moves. She's uh, very, very nice. Very nice mare, yeah. Yeah, and on the move, Tony Calle trying to get that ball under the neck. Ooh, he had Sapo going forward on Alicia. And just a little bad luck there. Around the corner, though, picked up here again by Rafino. He's going to go with the deep neck shot. And he's got Delario. Forget his. Lario inside the 40. Forget it. Backed up nicely by. Looked like Pipe Grant for the goal. And that ball will just go Ooh. just wide. And that'll take it to our cursey change. That was a nice intensity of the game. Yeah. Right there. Good, good start here in the fourth, huh? Very good start. The fourth. Uh, P, um, 
Tell, uh, Tony Kaji just played a really nice mare when he with, with the, uh, uh, the playing before the penalty that uh, Piper Junior scored. Uh -huh. The turn that the mare from um, Tony did. Right. She it was really really nice and she was going to be gone. Right. Who is she from? That's that's um, called. Um, let me tell you in a second because okay. I, uh, uh, Guri Linga. Guri Linga. Guri Guri Linga. Guri is gu, the, the, the prefix of uh, oh, what's Sevi? Uh, from Sevi. Oh, that, yeah. that oh that's for Sevi. From Sevi. Yeah. Oh, is it okay? Because yeah. you know I noticed uh, I noticed that uh, Fred plays a mare, or I don't know if it comes from Pite. From Pite, you in Argentina, you mean? Yeah. Yes. Yes, a really the, good mare. From man. Pite's breeding operation. Yes. Yes. Okay, because I noticed that because Fred Maddox. He sends one. You know, we were looking at some of his uh, strings. And now it's how you see how the different uh, uh, bloodlines. Yes. A lot of players because of the set. Well, Santarita, because Juan Bellini was um, our special guest today, and he was telling me about how Santarita, when Melissa, she has different bloodlines from all the different breeding operations, and then she chooses which line she wants to use with different studs. Yes. Uh, does exactly. that make sense yes. to you? Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. of course. Yeah, yeah, because I don't know a lot about the breeding part. Not but it's been fascinating to see uh, how it's changed the game. No, it's amazing. I mean, I mean, the, the, the breeding and, and, and the different horses you can create, you can breed, and uh, you get. We do all polo players. We do get sometimes. I mean, to share stallions. Sure. Right. Okay, but you, but you also use other people. Use of course, yeah. of course. Yeah. The, the the most important thing we we focus on is is the the mother. Right. We okay. Do the, we do the embryos or or, or the babies. So. Interesting, you, yeah. Because that's, that's what they said with Santa Rita. They bought mares from all exactly, the different Exactly. Santa Rita bought mares from a, a lot of people, and that, that's their bloodline. Yeah. Now, they can be sharing style. That's fine. But the most important thing, the bloodline comes from the mother. Right? Ah, that's very, what you very, really, very what interesting. You, what you really care about. Yeah, very nice. I appreciate it, teachers. I'm learning a little bit more every time I have uh, a special guest in here. I learn a little bit more about the bloodline. Back to the action, as it's going to be picked up here and controlled by Rafino. And the low flag, just wide. That was a good play by Rufino. Nice attempt. Going around. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that'll bring us back here to Nero with the one point lead now. Juanmar. Nice ball to the right side. Everybody on fresh legs now after the cursey change. So keep an eye as you probably see a few breakaways here. Bounced off a pony. Oh. And Grant's trying to get there, but it looks like uh, Nero's going to get out in front. Walmart. Going to shut this mare down, turn it into the inside. Gets pressure from Alario. Now Nero. Little duck and dive and bobbing and weaving move, trying to get by. Looking for the open pass here. Going to go down the center with it. Looking for Pipe. Pipe goes for the deep neck shot, bounces off the pony. And I think that ball's going to trickle out of bounds. And once again, you might get a quick knock in here, or is Sapo going to manage the clock? No, I think they're going to take a knock in because they are losing by one now. They got to have to use uh, the time and get Very the good mo most, yeah, most chances as, as they can. Very good point, Tijo. Yeah, you're right. They're going to use it, and it makes sense. Down by a goal. And look at this. They're going to get Benzidone on the move here. Rafino, Tamacho, working hard, stolen away by Nero, which was a clean play because Tamacho had pulled out, so it wasn't one meeting two. Now Rafino with time. Can he get in here? It looks like uh, Lario working hard with Juanma. Now, oh, that's a nice little move here by, no, look at this. Good non-call as Nero did not block him. Now they're going to go the other way with this, but are they going to run out of time? And I believe they are going to run out of time. And we'll let them talk about it, but it looked to be like a good non-call there at the end. It's a tough play, but look at this, 7-6. to six. We'll send everybody off for some fresh ponies, and we'll be right back. 2024 Palm Beach Open Final. When I founded the Taqueria 48 years ago, the goal was to service polo players fieldside and carry a complete line of polo equipment. Since those early days, we now carry everything for the horse and rider. Anything goes on or near a horse, 
you're likely to find here in our store. We still have polo equipment made by polo players for polo players. Okay, welcome back as we are live from the Grand Champions Polo Club Field Number 2, the Grandstand Stadium Field, where all the finals are played, and we are in the fifth chucker of the 2024 World Polo League Palm Beach Open Final. And, of course, special guest, Augustine Tincho Merlos, in the house as we stay here at CTV Sports. Very close play there at the end of the four chucker, and that's going to keep the score at seven to six, and then we get a quick whistle. You got to look on that one, teacher. Yes, yes, I'm up? looking there. You see, uh, oh. Tony guys is trying to reach over, I mean, under Grantis. Uh, yeah, look at your quick line change, any kind of reach. Yeah, kind of reach under the under there? horses. Yeah. So reaching is a call, penalty five. Oh, they're in range here. Rosapo has already made one from yes. further. We we're talking about a <clears throat> breeding operation. What what's your what's your breeding operation? The um, uh, pony. 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 Yeah, it's okay. the pre prefix. The prefix of my, of my yeah, breeding operation. All, yes. all, all the the first name is the prefix is is the is the breeder. Exactly. Right? Yes. And then the yeah. second name. Yeah. All right. And uh, yeah, so breeding breeding is going really well. Um, Very good. Congratulations. Gro growing, thank you. Growing and growing takes a lot of uh, time and effort. Right. And uh, sure. Yeah, you were saying before, uh, bloodlines, combinations, and all that. But I, I love it. Yeah, I no, do, I, I do it with passion, and I love it. All right, here comes Sapukasa with the penalty five A from about one twenty, and that ball's going right through the middle, right through the middle. Wow, man. And one that's shot. one twenty. There's that team from Merlot. That's on this, <laughs> right to the flag, man. One one twenty six. One twenty six and a half. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a shot. Sapo has been on fire today on on hitting on the deep shot. He he scored one in the second chucker from 140 if you miss the first half, and that's just a pretty ball. Well, yeah, great, great, I mean, great job of the flag. Yeah, great. right there, right on yeah. the bucket. He almost put it in the bucket. <laughs> great timing, great shot. Yeah. That was a good goal. Very well. Great job, Sapo. That's going to uh, get the equalizer also, 7-7. Seven to seven. They're going to win the bowl in here. It's going to be Rafino. Trying to get free here. Nero. Rotation. Off the pony. Grant gets taken out by Pipe. <clears throat> now they come together once again. It's going to be taken forward and controlled by Benzedone. <clears throat> the give and go now from Sapo to Rafino, and this is going to work. Good defense. Malice in the air. No whistle on the play, though, and it's going to be narrow. And Walmart is going to control for Travieso, and here come the boys in purple. Travieso on the move. Tony Calle and Grant Kanzi on a foot race here. The Bay Pony. Grant's going to put him on his hip. Nice ride off by Kanzi. Nero down the center. That's a pretty pass. Looking for a purple jersey. Everybody comes together. What a save now by Sapo. And they're opening it up here on the fifth chucker. Now, Cassette down the center looking for a white jersey. <clears throat> going to be a Lario. And <clears throat> picked up by... Tamacho oh, nice turn. 
turn around nicely. Yeah. Nice oh. turn by Tail. By, to by Tony, sorry. Uh, Tony, you got it. And look at now, Pipe. Pipe going to the near side here, back to the off side, inside the 30. And they are rolling. Here comes Sapo. He leaves it for Benzedone. And a good play by Tony. Will that ball carry? Oof. Stop right there, about a yard in front of the goal. Sapo's going to hit one wide <clears throat> to Grant. Grant's going to fire one down the center. And backed up by Tamacho. Both teams using the back shot at a high level here, passing the ball. Turned around and controlled by Nero. He's sending everybody forward now. Options to the left, options to the right. Tamacho's going to take Grant out. Tony's going to take it from the right to the left, left to right, I mean. Oh, and that ball goes shot. just wide. Great play. Great play by, by Travieso. Long ball from Juanma to Tony, being in the right position there. Good turn. Unbelievable. I think they, they, they got to go to courtesy change. I, I mean, think. that was all. <laughs> intensity there as well. Good polo. We need a change. We need a courtesy change. We need. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's fun. We, we're watching a great game. Unbelievable. Super nice game. Now we're talking about um, we're talking about the horses. Well, let's talk about talk about families. You uh, you come from a long range, father, mm. ten goals. And this comes down the line, brothers, 10 goals. And now the yeah. kids are all coming. And uh, let's Hope. talk about let's talk about your kids first because you got a whole line of them. Hopefully I mean, they, they Stevies, get 10 goals as well. Stevies, Pete Days. I mean, they're, they're, there's so many of them. Uh, congratulations. Oh, thanks. I know, I, know, I know your father's got to uh, – I always love when I see him. He's, he's here. He's here. Is he here now? He got here oh, yesterday. Well, I know yeah. he usually comes. So we're not. We haven't no. been at the field that much, so he usually comes out and yeah. says. But you know, remember when I was a kid? Yeah. Uh, you know, he was. You know, he was a superstar. He, yeah, he was at the peak of his game. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, no, he's a, he's the proudest person in the world, having so many grandchilds uh, playing polo and, mm -hmm. and, and right. He loves it, and uh, he goes to every game they play. Yeah, he loves I mean, it. It doesn't matter the the. the Ages, so go to your go to your kids, go to your kids that are playing. So, so uh, Rufino is my eldest, sixteen yeah. years old. So and, he, and asked you one of the youngest uh, people or, or actually players ever be on CTV Sports. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He was just a little yeah, dude. Yeah, he then. was a little dude. Yeah, yeah. and uh, he's he's playing the in the gauntlet. He's yeah. doing really well. Yeah, he's, happy. he's been playing well. Congratulations. Yeah, just won the gold cup. Uh, and and the little ones ago. are doing good now. And little ones are doing great. Celestino, thirteen years old, is playing the sixth goal now. And uh, Florencio as well. Yeah. He's playing every PTF, every. I remember when they time. were in the lead line. Remember? <laughs> yeah, that was long, long, long ago. Yeah. yeah, and then your nephews. And my nephews as well. Stevie's kids. Stevie's and. Uh, and, and are Pete, all playing. Yeah, and then Pete Pete's Pete's too. Yeah. Congratulations yeah. to them. Thanks. Yeah. So, but that's, uh, yeah, it's always, it's always great to see, uh, when you see your father, he's, uh, he always gives us a lot of love. Here yeah. uh, at CTV Sports, like he says, "I'll watch you on your Tucker TV." <laughs> yeah, 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 no, no, he loves. He watch. He watches you guys uh, all year round. I mean, yeah, he loves to watch Polo. No, he right. said that was the one thing is it keeps him up to speed with the with all the kids. Yeah. and all his grandkids. So <clears throat> it's always yeah. great to great to see that. All right, got Joe Merlos. He was uh, he was a superstar when I was uh, ten years old, nine, yeah. ten years old yeah. when I was watching Polo at the old. Royal Palm Polo Club yeah. in Boca, and you remember way back. Oh yeah, yeah. All right, everybody back, and here we go. Seven to seven. What a match we have here at the Grand Champions Polo Club Field Number Two Stadium Field. Seven to seven. Fifth Chucker Sapo Cassette on the move, on fresh leg Sapo, and gonna get another one. So he puts one in from 120, and now he brings that one all the way in. Yeah. No, what a what a good play because uh, you can see the a uh, back shot before before I mean Sapo was waiting for the back shot of his teammate to attack I mean and, and it happened and that was that was great polo yeah the uh, the give and go <clears throat> with a with, well I this year sixth season in the World Pro League Augustine I've seen so much open style where the players are moving before the ball gets hit. And that's when the game really gets going fast, right? Because the ball, the ball moves faster than the horses. That is about playing right. Yeah, playing the game. Playing the game. Yeah. 
I mean, yeah. both teams can do this. I mean, they are doing that, right? It's, it's uh, who does it with our most uh, consistency will win. Yeah, mm -hmm. you got it. Here we go on the bowl in, and both teams have been very consistent. As you can see, the score here, 8-7, backed up nicely by Grant Ganzi. Two players come together on Benzadone. Down the center from Alario. Stolen away by Tamacho. Sapo's going to be a little late. I like the non-call. Picked up by Ben Zadon, and that ball is going to carry just – it might stay on the field. And no, just off. off to the right. Yeah, I mean, good chance. Once you have a chance to shoot the ball and you have a clear uh, view of the ball, you should take it like, like Rufino just did. Yeah, good point. Very good point. And we see a lot of that now, too. That's why I think you're seeing so many goals from outside the, the, yes. the 60. Everybody's taking their chances. Yeah, yeah. of course. Yep, on the move. It's going to be a big ball by Nero, and we got a foot race. Here come Pipe and Alario. Alario, forget us. He's going to push him wide. Sapo's going to get there just before Tamacho backs that one up cleanly. Uh, Tony's going to leave this one now for Pipe. Grant comes in, puts the pressure on Versilino. Shot from a standstill. Pipe lays it in there. Tamacho leans out. Benzadone is going to win that battle. Looking for Sapo. He's got him. Sapo. Sapo now has to reestablish his team into a tidy attack. Slows it down. Right. Slows it down and starts again, right? Yeah. Here's the ball to Rufino. So they need to start on a tidy attack. So changing it up a little bit here, as you're saying. So getting getting out of that just running, gunning style. To exactly. More of, more of a passing. Exactly. I got you. Now. Good little pump fake there by Nero. Oh, the two big guns going at it right there. Nero went for the fake. Sapo didn't fall for it. Cassette with the approach shot. Can he get there? Oh, will that ball stay on the field? Stay in, stay in. It's still in. Grant backed up. And let him play. Oh, now a whistle. That was a foul. Yeah. And so with 107. Well, I didn't think gun enough grants, but I thought it was maybe off the field. No, still in it. I mean, Sapo makes Sapo a, missed the, the missed what a shot steal, to, first of all, against Nero. Not great, great steal on the near side. Yeah, right here. Yeah, right there. And then he overhits the, the approach. A, a, a little, little bit too long, yeah. yeah. I couldn't finish here, but it stayed in. Yeah, yeah, okay. Wow, it did. Oof. It did stay in. Right on the line. Yeah. And there. Is where you get it. Cause I was wondering, I was wondering if the the, the play was see if they side. I was wondering maybe if Alario got fouled, but it looked like there was a lot of space there. Yes. On that no. play. Yeah, yeah. You know, in front From of the goal. From the other angle, it looked like Alario got fouled. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But no, it was fine. Let's see what they, what they say. But it looks like it looks like a foul. From from the. From every okay, so every, every, every angle. Right? Yeah. So you do have a challenge. The, yeah. Uh, of Travieso. Yes. Challenge. And they're going to lose their challenge. And that would be the one with Wanmar, though. Okay. The foul is Wanmar. Okay. So not the foul, not the foul, not not the play in front. That was clean. That was clean. Yeah. They're not they're with Wanmar. Yeah, Juanma, the one with yeah. Wanmar. So they challenge, they lost the challenge. They lost so the challenge. So Casablanca has a challenge. You got it. So at the Only. moment, a little bit of an uh, advantage here for, uh, well, a chucker... Uh, Chucker, one minute, so about Chucker left. And uh, Casablanca still retains their challenge, and Travieso will lose their challenge. Okay. And it looks like they're going to get the uh, open goal penalty three here, or two. Penalty. Penalty two. two. And there you go, Sapo once again. And he's... Uh, He's been playing very good polo. Really good polo. Yeah. yeah. That's what happens. They drop all you guys from 10, <laughs> and you all start playing 10 again. <laughs> I said, you got the best seven, eight, nine goal players in the, maybe, in maybe. the, in the world. You know how many list seven goal players? We had like, yeah. like 11 seven goal players, Teen Show. Uh, maybe we'll never stop and playing no, 10 I, goals. I know. But you guys never stop playing 10 goals. <laughs> they, they put you down, but then you guys play better. Here we go. On the bowling. And this game, far from over. Two goal difference and 30, 30 seconds left here in the fifth. Grant coming across. Pipe was riding for that one. Didn't get it. Nero, he'll control. Juanmar 
Oh, oh, he's got room to work here. Watch out. Oh, bad luck there. As Juan Mar, he was off to the races. Nice play by Tamatra, though. He's going to get around. Stolen away by Cassette. Sopo's going to try to gather a few more yards here as the uh, clock ticks down. Same thing with Pipe, but it bounces off the pony. Now, Versalino moved a little bit further and almost takes off Sopo's head right there. But he ducks out of it. And it looks like that's going to end the chucker. So here we go. Two goal difference. Uh, this is going to be an amazing sick chucker. You don't want to miss it. We'll be right back. Another great season. We had a blast this year. Great fields again. They keep getting better and better. And we got lucky with the rain this year and uh, had a lot of fun polo. There's nothing better than being out here in Aspen, playing with these great people. Amazing views every day. I mean, how could you ask for more? Best part about being out here in Aspen for the polo is the fields, the community, Melissa and Mark, the great competition. And, uh, and the amazing horses, and how the horses enjoy being out here. I love the town, I love the valley, I love also spending time here in Carbondale. Um, so I just love this place in general. I have a lot of friends, I've made lots of friends over the years. The Gansis has have created a spectacular place here uh, that has become a really important summer destination for polo in America. Aspen, I love it that our family's around, a ton of horses, a ton of golf, and a lot of fun polo. So. All right, welcome back, everybody. CTB Sport, Dale Schwetz here with Augustine Tincho Merlos. And Augustine, what, what, what are your thoughts? What do you think uh, What do you think about uh, this sixth foul chucker? Two goal difference? Two goal difference. Is that enough? No, that's no, never enough. Never enough. Never enough. Never enough. No, no, I mean, they're playing really well, both teams, very tight, uh, using their strategy pretty well. I think, uh, I mean, it's a fast game. And we are very entertained, aren't we? No, oh, un unbelievable, man. Unbelievable, yeah. We've seen goals from been one, of, been one of the best games that we've that we've uh, seen all season. I agree with you. It's been fa fa from the start, right from, from the first bowling. Right from the first bowling, yeah. Great game. All right, here we go. Nine to seven, and it's going to be Nero working this one around. He's got Versalino in the rumble seat. He's going to pick this one up in behind him. Good defense, though, by Cassette. Nero's going to meet this ball, though, and push it forward. Oh, the oh, Tamacho, well done by Lario, though, reaches way out to get the hook there. Now, Rafino, little help from the pony there. Tony, nice ride off, goes well to the near side. Nice play. Well done, Tony. Takes it to the inside. Control play here behind Lario. Ball gets kicked back. Good nine call. It's kind of got kind of put it there. Turned around and controlled now. By Pipe. Well done, Pipe. He's going to slow it down here. Oh, oh, what a steal. Tony, though, with the ride off and the back shot as Kaye 
getting a lot done on defense. Now Nero, this ball's going to lay right inside the 40. Sapo tries to get it out, and uh, they're going to get whistle. a whistle. So yeah. you get off speed. Or what do you what do you think? What do you think? There no, they come together. I mean, no, there's a bump here at different speed. I think yeah, off speed. Oh, well, I think it's right. Eh, kind of interesting. I mean, uh, I if, guess it gives you a bit of a different speed. There, Sapo was moving a little bit more. You know, when you have a player riding, um, I've seen this a couple times this year. Uh, teacher, where a, a player's riding for it, and then players waiting for, waiting yeah. to bump. Yeah. Behind you, that's where you kind of get a little off speed. You know what I mean? Because yeah. if he's waiting for you, but yeah, if, if but it didn't guy, look, it didn't look as bad on no, the, exactly. On the replay. It didn't look as bad. The guy waiting has to be really, really, I mean, polite to get the, get him, get him. I mean, to bother the other player, right? Get yeah, him, give him a bump. Yeah, yeah, the but, timing. But that's where you're gonna get. You're gonna get off speed. So they'll go with the penalty five A, and Sapo's gonna go ahead and hit one deep, and he's been doing that all day. Well done, Tony. Guy is going to open that Great one up. Shot. Oh, yeah. Is that a distance? Yes. Yes, sir. Good non call. Good play here by Nero. Gets out of there just in time. Going to get some help from Pipe. Grant. And Nero's going to go for it here. Mama's going to hit this one right inside the 60s. Sword fight going on. And Alario is going to win that one. Forget us. On another gray. And well done, Lario. Moving it down the field, picking it up once, twice, three times, four. Now they all come together there. And it'll be Rafino. Back to the center. Two players come together there. Tamacho says, You got it, Walmart. Turn this one around. And wow, look at the bay pony that uh, Nero's on now, also. Very yeah. nice pony, that one. Beautiful. Good turn. Give look at this. Much. Tamacho, no Oof. play. Oh, oh, oh. Now they just miss time. I guess you're gonna let that go there. Kind of just miss time, but <laughs> yeah, that was uh, that was like as we say in NASCAR, they were trading paint there. <laughs> that was a good bump. Yeah, well, they were fighting for the position. I mean, yeah, I didn't mean, know if they saw each other. No, they didn't see each other. Yeah, uh, that's why I think they kind of let it go. It wasn't like anybody was trying to. Exactly. Yeah, so they let it go. Nero now, and Walmart says, "I'm gonna take this one myself, guys." Trying to get free here. Ooh. Oh. What a try for a steal there. That's going to give Nero an opportunity. Now, everybody just trying to gather Nero. They leave it for Tamacho. Pieres. Fall to Grant. the second player. Oh, The same yeah. play as um, Casablanca had in their favor. Very good call. They're having again. Yeah. You said it, Tijo. Same. Very similar on, very good, on yeah. the second man. Keep an eye on the second man here. Is like he a second man? Here coming. You see Grant, he tries to challenge. He falls right. the second guy. Yeah, the number three. Yeah, number yeah. three. Yeah. And a good yeah. play by Grant, but then the second man coming. You can challenge that with yeah. not getting in, in, in the second man's line, yeah. right? Which is difficult. Huh? It's really difficult because sometimes you want to have the right line. You don't make it to challenge. Yeah. So it's like really, really difficult. Yeah, we, 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 I saw, we saw that happen. Um, we saw that happen today uh, in the Acle, and it was at a, at a, at a lesser angle. Mm -hmm. Not like Grant made the hook and then came across 90. Tincho, the guy made the hook and kind of came up, tried to stay on his side and went at 45 degrees, yeah. but he still fell the second. Yeah, 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 sure, yeah. sure. So that was going to take, uh, it's going to get us into our final courtesy change. And when we return, great shot here of the pits, Pipe. Lino should be seeing some of the top uh, top horses coming out now. Yeah, good horses. Uh, when do you when? How do you like to do it? How do you how do you how do you when you when you? I know you know all the horses are good, but the, your favorites. Well, I you think like it's very. I think it's, it's very personal, right? Okay. I mean, you know your pony. You feel comfortable uh, with this horse uh, this season or the season before. I mean, it, it, it brings you. It brings you. Um, uh, confidence. It's about confidence. But right. I mean, you're in this final, every every horse has been really good throughout the the game, and um, it's, it's very personal. I mean, you sure. really have no, you really sense. have good, really good mares for the first chakra. Really have 
you sometimes you have really good mares for the fifth chakra. Right. Which, if you put the fifth chakra mare into the first one, it's not the same. Right. So I don't know why. Yeah. Nobody and knows why. Nobody knows why. <laughs> I, no, no, I understand. I hear you say it. And, 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 and games could change, right? And with the currency change, you have the ability to change them around. Yeah, at the same time, Dale, and this is uh, for respect of the ponies, mm-hmm. a good horse is a good horse. Right. Any chakra, right? Yeah. A good horse is a good horse. No, but it doesn't matter you put it first, uh, second. It doesn't matter. A good horse is a good horse. Anywhere, any chakra, always. Right. Right? And it's, it's just you, about... It's how you play. It's just, huh? <laughs> it's how you play. It's how you play. Yeah. How you use it, right? Yeah, yeah, how you use it. Exactly. But sometimes the horses, uh, they tell you how to be used That's as true. well. Yeah. Right? They're so I, good, they tell you, uh-huh. hey, put me in the fifth chakra. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help you win the game. Sure. Right? And, they, and they all wake up different, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, we, just, like we do. Like we do, yeah. So you're going to get the open goal penalty, too, as you said. Uh, foul in the second man. Yeah. And now, look at it. You have a one goal game. One goal game. And a lot of time. Mucho tiempo. Four minutes. Yep, 350 mucho, to be exact. Mucho tiempo. We only had the one uh, chucker, um, and Tincho and I were talking about it. Three unanswered goals in the fifth chucker, uh, and then all three goals were scored by uh, Sapo. Sapo Cassette. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Who I found out his breeding operation, uh, the prefix is Sapo. So you see that on a horse, you know it comes from Sapo Cassette. And uh, Tincho was telling me that between chuckers. All right, everybody battling for position here. Possession is very, very important now. And picked up here. It was actually won by the Casablanca team, but then Trevieso wins it. Now, look at this. Walmart pushing hard. Sapo and Walmart going at it. They leave that one behind. Calle Tony slams on the brakes, takes it to the inside. Good ball control. Left in there and controlled now by Benzidone. Rafino. Gets into the corner. He's got to deal with Nero. Juanmar's going to win the ride off. Turn it back to the inside. They got to give him one play here. And Alario knows it. He pulls out. Now, look at it, Nero. Oh, Nero. He's enjoying the Bay Pony. Across the center. Nice back shot by Alario. Now the, now the sword fight with Sapo and Pipe. And then you get a whistle. Uh, I'm not sure what they. Both teams going at it. Yeah, exactly. And they were, they were fighting. It's yeah, they they are they they are they are going. They're they're everybody is, is uh, very intense. I mean, let's try to see the replay here. I'm not sure if you get there right now. Is that? Is that I'm not sure. Yeah, that's that's uh, it's a tough one. They're rubbing each other, and uh, I wouldn't be surprised. You don't see King just get a bowl in here, but we'll see what they decide. But it just looked like both, 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 everybody was going at it. They're yeah. rubbing each other. They're sideways. They're hooking. It was Probably, a, yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't, yeah, I'm not sure what the umpires. Okay, so remember, we see. do the, the Treviso team. Did they? They? They are out of challenges. Casa still has a challenge. Yes. If if needed, here in the six chucker. Yes. Triggers are in place. So they have an opportunity to look at it. Anytime you have sword fights going on like that or you have uh, contact, yes. they, the umpires can check it and look at it. You are going to get a bowling. Yeah. So I like, his, I like his bowling because uh, everybody's just going at it. <laughs> Here we go. On the bowling, it pops out, and it will be Travieso. So under the neck with it. Good turnaround here. Oh, Pipe working hard there, but Lario, he gets the back shot off, and now it's going to be Rafino. Bends it on. Tries to keep it going. Nero, I don't know how he did that. Popped up in the air. Oh, Pipe's got room to work now. Pipe. Yeah. Nero is going forward. Now Pipe's going to shoot this ball, and they all come together there. And then you get a whistle on the play. It looked like Tamacho was coming over to make a near side play. And then Sapo. I think Sapo got a bump it, from, it from behind here. Yeah. Oh, I mean, there was. Right there, I think he get it. You see uh, Tony's horse's head kind of went yes, underneath was... underneath the sh- uh, the arm. But we'll see how they he had another play. He had Tamacho coming over also. If I may, Dale, I have yeah. uh, some fans. Friends of mine, oh, sure. watching from England. Oh wow, okay. Ramsey Elashka is a good, 
good friend of mine. We played together in England. And uh, he's uh, watching the game live right now. Oh, good. And they Are you say, enjoying? He's enjoy Are you enjoying, Ramsey? <laughs> <laughs> and they uh, say you get a good, good, good chat with them? No, they're watching well, every good. game. Let me tell you, they're watching oh, good. every well, game. Can, well, tell them thank you very much. And, we uh, appreciate it, Aaron. Thank you uh, for tuning in CTV Sports. We always enjoy that. From England. And we're, yeah. big, of course, big fans of the UK. Yeah. And, uh, and all the players and, of course... Actually, I don't know if you realize that I was actually the first American ever to do uh, umpire in the UK. You were? Yeah. Wow. And, and, Congratulations. Yeah, 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 yeah. And now it's, it's a little more common. I mean, English yeah. English umpires now, come here, even in Argentina and, and vice versa. Yeah. But uh, so you, you, you yeah, broke it, the ice. Was, yeah, yeah. It, you it, were it, the first one. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was in, the, in, in the West Church Cup. When you had oh, the, exactly. You had the, in, uh, international a, match. A, a, international match. That's great. So that was the first year they wanted to have... They wanted to have the international uh, empires. Yeah, and then yeah, and that's when it first, that's when it started. When when was that? I did it with I Applebee. Mean, which I did it with, with Applebee. Julian. Yeah. Which uh, what, what game was it? Yeah, it was. Uh, oh man, God, you got many years. It was in America. No, no, no. It was no, in, no. it was no. It no, was at I mean, the, I mean, the guards. No, but but who was playing on the game? Oh, on 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 the field. It was, it was uh, England versus. Yeah, it was uh, actually with us. We, we, it was it was uh, Mark Anzi. I mean, Mark. Yeah, Mark Anzi with. Uh, oh, Mike Azaro. No, right. my, my, Mike Azaro and um, uh, Paulito Pietis. Oh, yeah, that game. And, that and, game. Yeah, and yeah. Roldan. Yeah. And they played against uh, they played against uh, the brothers, Thomasons. Thomasons. The two Thomasons. Yeah. And, um, wow, man, so many years, time fly by. So it was England versus America. England versus America. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I got to tell you, I, 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 I was treated so nicely. I, I mean, the HPA was just. It was fabulous. They do a good I mean, job. No, I mean, it was amazing. They do a good job there. I, yeah. got, I, I actually did my first game. So we have, we have a play here as we were chatting there, right down in the uh, goal mouth. They were they were they had that foul member with uh, Sapo. So they, had, they came up underneath them. Yeah, so they, and, blew, they blew that one. Yeah, so they blew that one, and they're going to move that one. They're going to move it to center. Okay. Yeah, just on the contact. And I think you've seen a lot of consistency that based yeah. on contact, based yeah. on either two legged athletes or the four legged think I think it's fine. Yeah. You, you got to keep them safe. As long as, yeah, as long as you keep it consistent, right? Yeah. Okay. 5B, Sapo. Not going to go for the two. I can understand why right now. He wants the possession, wants the control. And this is where he's made one from earlier, from right here, same spot. And Lario. Might have an opportunity. Leaves it for Benzidone. Rafino. Shot. Oh. Wow. They took their chances. Yeah. Could have been. Man. I mean, that, 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 that ball actually was uh, headed down. I was I was wondering if uh, maybe uh, Lario was just going to go ahead and just go for it. But Rafino was in a good spot. Yeah. And uh, but, uh, hold on, are they blowing a foul there? I guess they're gonna blow a foul. Let's see, they turn it around, they leave it for Rafino. Are they saying that Tomacho didn't clear? Uh, maybe, maybe. Well, he, he didn't. He, I don't know, they could look at it. It looked like a silly. I mean, Tomacho was there, but then it looked like Rafino put, took, put, took the ball over to the left, right? Yes, yeah. yeah, yeah. I had a clear shot, but yeah, so he had a clear shot. Um, so we'll see. I think so he, I'm not sure what they, they might trigger this too. We'll see right here with 126 left. Remember, uh, Travieso does not have the opportunity to challenge. So even if they did blow that, they yeah. blown against them. Yeah. If they uh, if they want to look at it. And it said, it looked like it was very quick. Yeah. You know, like you said, if, um, but definitely, definitely Tamacho did not move. But it was kind of interesting because it looked like Rafino went to the, moved the ball to the open space. They're going to, they're going to go with the open goal, penalty two from the spot. Okay. And Sapo, no problem. On the open goal. 10 8, a minute and a half to go. Yeah. Well, we've seen, hmm. We've seen a lot of goals scored this year in the World Polo League, and uh, I got to tell you, Tincho, we uh, we've seen three goals scored in two minutes. We've seen uh, four goals scored in three minutes. Uh, let's see if we get two goals scored in a minute. That's where it gets tough, because remember, 
you always got to get back to the center yes. for that bowling, you know? Yeah. So, but you do have the opportunity at the two-point conversion here if they can get the ball. Sapo's going to hit one down the side here. Oh, they get the possession play. That's a quick now, ball, for, quick ball for Yeah. And they're going to they're gonna try. Now, look at he, he He can shoot from, he can try from center. He, he, he can try. And actually, he, he can go for it here. Go for two. Oh, bad luck. I thought maybe Walmart might, Walmart might take it over yeah. center, go for two. He tried for the big ball. It's picked up here by Rafino. And look at this, Sapo coming in again for another one. And he is going to get yeah. it. Yeah. So Sapo Cassette picking up his seventh goal of the day to end it right here, 11 to 8. And I don't know if they ran out of time or if, it, hey, if he still had a little time on the clock. But nice. game, I, game over. Game over. So definitely uh, hold on. And, no, oh, very, very good big win. Here's your stats. See if there's anything to uh, step uh, that kind of jumps out at you, Tincho. We got uh, I mean, you can, see, you can see Casablanca took 15 shots to goal. And... Uh, and um, and they um, so and, and and Traviso took only twelve. So there's yeah. three more goals. Uh, if you do should, the, the if number, you do the math. The, there it is. I mean, it's very small, right? They they play a tough, uh, very tough game. It was going to be that close. Tough game. Both both of the, the teams and and they were tight. They were play a similar similar uh, style, right? Yeah. No, and you you said it. Very 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 similar tough style. And and I think they did. Both teams did great. Just um, Casalata taking taking more shots to goal made made a difference after all. Yeah, no, I agree with you. I agree. With you. I think I think you 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 read it perfectly. You said both teams are very very even. Went back and forth. Anybody's game, but those extra three shots, the numbers done. The numbers never lie. Which is and only three it, shots, but it's a lot. <laughs> especially I mean, it's in a, a lot. game so tight. Yeah, and the game's tight, and and the, probably those three shots they went in. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I know it's 15. They only score <laughs> how many? 11. Yeah. I mean, it's only if you think about it, it's only four shots that went that went out. You got right? it. So you it's, got it's, it. It's, so it's any final final words for no, the game? What no, think? I think I think we saw an, an, a, a great final, a fast final, a well played game by both teams, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, very, nothing, very clean, very game. clean, and, and very um, fast attacking. And I think, like like I said at the beginning. The best uh, players of both teams are be going to be uh, they are number fours. Yeah. I mean defense. Mm -hmm. That's why they only score eleven to eight. I mean, yeah, it's not many, not, many, not many goals. I thought it was going to be more goals, but th there were not many. You said it. Well, I got to tell you, Augustine, uh, it was great having you as always. Thank you so much. Always, a, always a pleasure. One of my favorite players yeah. right here. Keep an eye on him as he's still he's still playing in the World Pole League for the Alegria team. So good luck Thank in you. the Triple Crown. Thank you. And uh, remember, we have continuing action in the Triple Crown. But today, of course, is going to go to Casablanca. But I got to give it up to Travier. So they had the longest road to get to the finals, but they made it to the finals. Just got edged out. Now, now remember, we are going to uh, we're going to go to a little break, and then we're going to be back for our trophy presentation. But then remember. Stay with us for after the trophy presentation where we're going to have our wheelie polo. Your kids are going to be playing. Oh, yeah, both, both kids. They <laughs> are amazing. We've had some amazing wheelie polo games. So for Tincho Merlos, I'm Dale Schwetz. I speak for everyone here at CTV Sports when I say thank you for making us leaders of polo broadcasting. And always remember here at CTV Sports, we love the polo.
So, ladies and gentlemen, as the, the winners of the uh, Palm Beach Open make their way up onto the podium, let's have a big cheer here for Team Casablanca. Uh, let's have Traviesa up there as well, please. And let's give the runners up because they were a great team throughout this tournament. Let's give it up for Traviesa, everybody, as they make their way up onto the podium. Well done, lads. A cracking game of polo. And as I say, we're delighted to have Celine Cassette, who's going to be doing the prize presentation. Now then, let's start with the three ponies. We're going to start with the best playing pony of the uh, polo Argentino. Uh, she is our pony ridden by Rufino Bensadon. Please step forward and bring her forward. Abrochitos Canasta. There she is. Look at that. Beautiful pony. Winning the best playing pony of uh, the Palm Beach Open of the uh, Argentine Polo Association. Well done once again on behalf of all the ponies. Please give it up for Abrochitos Canasta, as I say, ridden by Rufino Bensadon. Yeah, she's not, a, not used to all that attention. Thank you very much. Now then, the second horse we'd like to ask to step forward, and that is the best playing pony of the American Polo Horse Association. Her name is uh, Bios Angostura, and uh, she was uh, ridden by Mr. Sapo Cassette. There she is, ladies and gentlemen, once again. Look at that beautiful, very calm. Looks like she's had this award <laughs> before. Either that or she's just extremely tired, but what a good-looking pony that is. Once again, everybody, put your hands together for Bios Angostura, ridden by the man there. You see a proud Sapo cassette. Thank you. Yeah, make sure we get all the pictures. Thank you very much. We still have one more pony to go. Thank you very much. And then, of course, the last but by no means least is the best playing pony by the World Polo League. The World Polo League here, the best playing pony. Here she comes. She was ridden by Tony Calle, and her name is Guri Suerte. And on behalf of all the ponies that took part, and of course the grooms, everybody for the petty service, let's have a big round of applause, please, for all the ponies and all the grooms working so hard behind the scenes, turning out these wonderful animals. Thank you very much indeed. So the young lady who's up on the podium, as I said, that is uh, Celine Cassette Sapo, sister. Thank you very much for uh, conducting the prize presentation. We are going to start with the runners up. And I'd like you to please give a cracking round of applause for a young man who's got a very, very big future ahead of him. For Travieso, please step forward, Tony Kaye. Well done, Tony. Uh, number two, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for, he's got a big smile on his face, Tomacho Pierres. At uh, number three, ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Chile, but he set this game on fire. Give it up for the servant goal of Pipe Michelino. And at number four, ladies and gentlemen, the 10 goaler that played here this afternoon, Juan Martinero, everybody. There he is, Juan Mar, well done. And now over to the winners. And not only winners, but winners back to back. They won it 2023. They've won it 2024. Please give a big round of applause for the number one, Mr. Grant Gensi.
Uh, number two, ladies and gentlemen, with a huge, big smile on his face. I'm sure the whole family will be proud. Hilario Figueres. Well done, Hilario. At number three, ladies and gentlemen, it's always a pleasure to watch this young man in the saddle. Give it up for the one and only Rufino Bensadon. Well done, Rufino. And of course, what can I say about this man? He scored eight goals, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Sapo Cassette. And now before we uh, go to uh, the umpires, we would like to award the award for the MVP. And uh, I kind of gave it away. He scored eight goals in total, ladies and gentlemen. MVP of the Palm Beach Open Final 2024, Mr. Sapo Cassette. Now, of course, a final like this could not take place without four very, very important people, our official WPL umpires. Please give them a round of applause, all four of them. Gaston Dorignac, Esteban Ferrari, Pepe Araja, and Guise Villanueva. Esteban's a good-looking one. Well done, boys. Once again, a round of applause, please, for our four officials. Come on, put your hands together for Gaston, Esteban, Pipe, and Guise. Thank you, guys. And if I could now ask uh, Travieso and the umpires to please exit stage left for the presentation of the beautiful Palm Beach Open trophy. Ladies and gentlemen, here are your champions, winners, back-to-back -back winners of the Palm Beach Open 2024. Team Casablanca, Grant Ganji, Hilario Figueres, Rafina Bensadon, and of course, Sapo Cassetta. Right, and if I can have your attention, please, everybody, I would like everyone, please, to now vacate the field. Everybody, please, come behind the uh, the sideboards everybody please behind the sideboards you can now uh, conduct your interviews uh, here in the safety zone because I'm going to hand the microphone over to the polo manager Kale Newman who should be starting the wheelie polo so if we can have everybody who's not playing behind the sideboards please thank you very much indeed and uh, with that I uh, hope you've enjoyed your afternoon here it's been another fabulous day of polo Let's give another round of applause. Your winners of the Palm Beach Open, Team Casablanca. Thank you very much indeed. Everybody else, please, off the field. Thank you very much, everybody, off the field. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as soon as we get the trophy stage cleared out of the field, we're going to have a little treat for you here. We've got some kids wheelie polo. We've got the teams ready to go here in staging. So bear with us, folks. As soon as we get the trophy stage removed, we will have some kids wheelie polo. So stay tuned right here, field side.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, don't go anywhere. As soon as this tra uh, trophy stage gets moved out of the way, we will have a special treat for you. You see all these kids whipping around here on these e-wheels. These things are electric unicycles. These kids use these daily, and they practice all of their skills that translates to a pony. All right, if I could please have the kids wheelie players right here at center field. All right, kids, wheelie players. Wheelie players, come on, guys, right here. I need everybody to please on this side of the boards, if you would. If you would, please. To All right. Ka uh, Tony Kaye, would you please, and Teo, would you guys please just step on this side of the boards? Tuku, you as well, please. Right on over. Okay. All right. Parker, go. All right, guys, bring it in, please. Bring it in, bring it in. All right. We are going to be playing three on four today. We're short a couple of our wheelie players. Some of the kids did have to have to go home. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and let these players introduce themselves as we go down the line here. A little doing it a little bit different here. So as I give you the mic, say your name into the microphone. Lorenzo Sonero. All right. Indalecio Pieres. Iñaki. Milo Magdono. Florencio Merlos. Celestino Merlos. Alfonso Nero. There we go. We got the seven players. We're a little bit different today. We, we're down a couple players. But I got a special treat for you guys. We're going to do uh, three chuckers right here with these with this crew. And then we have... Charlie, you're, you're, you're not allowed to play a wheelie polo. <laughs> Hold on. Charlie, you don't have a wheel. <laughs> All right, boys, you ready? Time are ready. Let's get this one underway. Here we go. It's going to be picked up now. Ooh. Merlos. Foley Merlos working his way down the field here, trying to keep this one under control. Look at that. Backed out of there. Coming up here we go. It's going to be Milo Mac. Milo McDonough coming in here. Trying to keep this one under control. Nero in as well. Bunch of players coming in here together here. Nero, uh-oh, we got a player off his wheel. All right, guys, everybody, pause. We'll let the player back on his wheel. There we go. All right, keeping this one going here. What's going to happen? We're working downfield. Keeping this one going all the way down. And Yaki coming in on the action. Now it's going to be Flore. Florencio trying to get there. Now into, ooh, look at that, Flore. With a big back shot out of here. Hey, Sapo, can you pick that chair up, please? T uh, Tukan. The chair. Thank you, guys. All right. Back in action here. Coming back in over here. It's going to be Anyaki. Anyaki trying to keep this one under control here. Working his way down and around. Ooh, Merlos unable to get contact here. It's going to be Inyaki still with control out of the air. Look at that beautiful bomb 
of a shot downfield and coming in is going to be Inda Piedes. Inda Piedes. Inda showing us some hand-eye coordination here. Look at this kid fly down the field. Coming down the line. It's going to be Merlos now. Merlos can't quite make contact. Inyaki missed use as well. Now it's going to be Milo McDonough. Milo Mack on the ball. Coming in Nero. Nero. Nero trying to keep this one under control. Alfonso, oh, look at that. It's going to be Enda. Enda Piedes. And that's going to be a goal. So nicely done there by Enda Piedes. So we do play a little bit different than outdoor rules here for Wheelie Polo. It is continue action play. So goal is scored. The opposite team, the opposite team gets possession from behind the goal. So here we go. Ball back in play. Milo Mack. Milo, McDonough, Inyaki, Gonzalez coming in here. Inyaki can't quite keep it going. It's going to be Milo now. Milo. Milo McDonough pops it up in the air. Look at this. Working down the field here, trying to keep this one under control. It's going to be Merlos now. Merlos unable to maintain possession. It's going to be picked up now by Lorenzo. Nero. Nero working his way all the way down here. Chased down hard by Milo McDonough. Merlos in on the action. Now it's going to be Alfonso. Nero. 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 Oh, off the post. Off the post. Still a live ball. Here we go. Back in action. And that one's going to go right on through. So two to zero now. The team in red on fire. <laughs> and here we go. Back in action here. Trying to keep this one under control. Working all the way down the field. Coming in now. It's going to be Nero. Nero on the move here. Forgot something, though. Left that ball behind. Here comes Merlos. Merlos. Foley Merlos working his way. Ooh, bad luck there. Might need to get this kid a longer mallet here. He's missed that ball a couple times here right over the top of it. Here comes Inda Pietas now. Inda. Can't quite keep that one moving here. We go. Milo McDonough on the ball. Sends it up here. Inyaki going to grab it out of the air. Nicely done here. Inyaki tries to scoop it behind. And here comes Foley. Foley now working his way up here to Milo McDonough. McDonough can't quite keep it under control. It's going to be Nero. And Inyaki. Inyaki. Passes up here looking for his teammate. Watch, watch out, girls, on the sideboards. Inda Piedes working his way down the field. Trying to keep this one going. Ooh, Inda. All right, here we go. 30-second warning horn. Player back on the wheel. That was uh, Lorenzo Nero, actually. And look at that. We got another goal here right at the end of the chucker. 3-0 to zero is the score. Bring it in, boys. So that's going to do it for chucker number one. We're going to go right on into chucker number two. Remember, guys, we got three chuckers to play here. And then we're going to have a special chucker with the other kids. All right, line up, boys. And timer ready. Here we go. Ball put back on the ground. Working down here. We do switch directions after each chucker like we do in Arena Polo. So here we go. Foley working his way down into trying to keep that one under control. Inda coming in out of nowhere with the steal. Coming back in now is going to be Celestino. Ooh, nice little tricky play there by Inyaki Gonzalez. And now it's going to be Milo McDonough. Milo. Milo McDonough. Nicely done here. Coming back in on the action is going to be the team in red grand champions. That, of course, is Inda Piedes. We're the number one. Now Lorenzo Nero coming in on the action as well. Where's this one going to go? They're fighting for it here. It's going to be Nero. Nero, what a beautiful shot there by Nero. Coming back in on the action here. Keeping this one, guy. Hey, that's an illegal move. Not allowed to touch the ball with your hand. Coming back in here. 
Trying to keep this one under control. Here comes Celestino. Nice little disrupted play here. Milo McDonough in on the action. Milo, Milo, Milo McDonough. Keeping this one going. Milo. Now. Ooh. McDonough. McDonough and, and McDonough, Piedes, and Nero fighting it out here. It's going to be Piedes. Piedes working his way down, trying to get this one under control. It's going to be Merlos now. Merlos loses the handle now. Gonzalez. Gonzalez <clears throat> trying to keep this one under control. McDonough now. Milo McDonough. And coming back in now is going to be into Piedes to pick up the loose ball play. Coming, though, down the line. Oh, man, he got a little too much English on that one. And it's going to be little brother coming in to help him out. Here comes Foley. Foley now. Can he get this one done? Here comes Celestino. Ooh, bad luck. Takes a funny hop. Goes off to the left-hand side. Here comes Inda Piedas now. Inda. Miss Hughes leaves it behind, but he's followed up by Nero. Piedas to Nero. Nero to Piedas. Now McDonough backs this one out of there. Intercepted now by Gonzalez. Gonzalez. Now Nero. Nero. Coming in. Look at that. <laughs> Keeping this one going here. Everybody turns back. Who's going to get there first? Who has the faster wheel? Inda. Now Merlos. Merlos. Can he keep this one going? Not this time. A little fight in the bouncing ball. Two minutes on the clock. Here we go. Milo McDonough. McDonough. Backs this one up here. Where's this one going to go? Trying to get under control. Nero. 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 Keeping this one going here. Merlos now. Merlos. Coming in. Now it's going to be Gonzalez. Gonzalez. Inyaki. Nice little stick work here by Inyaki Gonzalez. Pops it up. E. All right. Hold on, guys. Okay, we got an injury timeout here. We're going to take a quick second here to make sure Inyaki is all right. Always have medics on site. So just taking a quick injury timeout here. Bear with us, folks. We'll be right back in, in it with more action in just a moment. All right, everybody, give, why don't you give Inyaki Gonzalez a big old round of applause here. He's, be, he's good to go. He's going to hop back on his wheel. These kids are tough. He got a little stinger to the ankle, but he's, he says he's good to go. All right, and timer. Go ahead. Fair play, Voland. We are back in action. Under a minute and a half remaining here in this chucker of play. We've got one more chucker for you, and then I got this crew here, and they are going to play a fantastic game of wheelie polo for you. It's going to be Nero now working his way down the ball down the field. Nero 
pops that one high in the air. Wide, but we do play continue action. So, we do kind of like in hockey where you can play around the backside of the goal mouth. A little bit of a hybrid rule system here in Kids Wheelie Polo. There's the 30-second warning horn. Less than 30 to play out here. We go. Ball down the field. And it's going to be Merlos. Merlos. Merlos, can he get this one to the goal? He does. Nicely done there. So, 4-1 to one, the score. 4-1 the score. We're going to go ahead and bowl it back in here for our third and final trucker of this match. All right, you ready, guys? And here we go. Chalker number three underway. It's going to be Inda. Inda loses the handle there. Celestino now fully. Fully. Can he get this one done? Not this time. He's going to keep this one to himself. Miss Hughes on the bouncy ball. Trying to keep this one going here. And Inyaki. Showing us how tough he is. Man, that kid took a... Stinger to the ankle, but he is all right and showing us how it's done right here. Miscues on the ball, backed up now by Inda. Inda Pietas. Inda working his way down the field here, trying to keep this one under control. Inda. Ooh, pops that one high in the air. And now it's going to be Nero. Nero. Nero and Merlos come together there. Merlos going to fire one down the field here. Trying to keep this one under control. And here comes Inda. Inda miscues on the ball. A couple of players override. Nero does not override. He gets a hold of it. And here's Inda. It is Inda. That ball wide. It's still a live ball, though. Here we go. Ball back in play. Coming back around. Coming back around. Here we go. Coming right towards us here at the sideboards. And keeping this one going. It's going to be Milo McDonough. McDonough working his way down the field here. Can he get this one all the way down to the goal mouth? Milo. That ball stolen out of there momentarily. Here we go. Wide. Through just over three minutes left to play here. In this chucker. Keeping this one going. And the team in white going to get a hold of that one. Nicely done here. Four to two now the score. As this ball brought back into play. Here we go. Back up in front. Here is going to be Celestino Merlos. Merlos, Merlos working his way down now. Trying to keep this under control. Can we do it? It's going to be Inda to steal. No, look at this. Uh, Celestino trying to get it back under control now. It's going to be picked off and stolen out of there now by Inda. Ooh, bad luck there for Nero. Miscues on that ball. Trying to keep this one under control. And... Nero, 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 trying to keep this one under control here. We go picked off here now, sent right on in. So five to two now the score. As clock ticks down under two minutes remaining here in this final chucker of play. That don't go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. We got a special treat for you. We got another match. A single chucker match with some of our younger wheelie players. Coming back in on the action, Milo McDonough. Can he get this one done? He's trying. Milo. Milo trying to keep this one under control. Not this time. Independent is coming in with a steal. Oh. 
Look at that. Nice little steal there right off the doorstep. This little save on just about a minute remaining here in our chucker. And <laughs> we have a player off his wheel, but he is right back on his feet. So that's what we like to see coming back in on the action. It's going to be in Yaki. Can he get this one done? Trying to get there. Milo. Nicely done there. Nicely done. Two goals separating these two teams. And keeping this one going over center field now. Ooh, ball takes a funny hop. And watch your ears, folks. 30-second warning horn upcoming. There's a 30-second warning horn. Less than 30 to play out here in this trucker. We've got... Ooh, nice little save there right on the doorstep. And it's going to be Merlos now to pick up the ball. Merlos. 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 Oh, man. Almost just wide to the right-hand side. But we play live action or continue ball. Here we go. Back in action is going to be the horn upcoming. There we have it, folks. Put your hands together for both of these teams. Congratulations to Grand Champions in the red jerseys taking home the victory here today. All right, boys, bring it in. And then I need all of my next wheelie players to come right here at center field. We're just going to do a quick rule review with the newer players, so get, bear with us, folks. All right. So, all right. Yes, exactly. All right. Now, now, guys, I'm going to put the microphone in your face, and you're going to say your name, okay? One trucker. Olivia. Isa. Rafa. Mia. Asu. All right, there you have it. We got the players, and all right, keep pulling in. All right, here we go. We are off in. Oh. Sorry, we had a little bit of a false start there. It bounced right out. All right, we well now we're off and working. It's gonna be Rafa. It's it's a yeah. <laughs> We'll, we'll, we'll make it work. Rafa coming down the line here. Ooh, the little McDonough working his way down, trying to keep this one under control. Trying to get there. Who's going to come in now? Mia on the ball. Mia 
Working her way down, trying to keep this one under control. Now Alba coming down the line. Alba, nicely done, sends this one up. Mia. Mia, ooh, bad luck. Can't quite keep it under control, but Alba is right there. Comes off of the back of the wheel, and Mia, ooh, bad luck there. They all override. Azu gets a hold of it. Look at that. She's going to get one. She's celebrating. She hopped off her wheel and is celebrating. All right, so continued action play. We're going to bring this one back into play. We don't. We do not switch directions. We switch directions after the trucker, but this is going to be a solo trucker. Rafa. Oh, bad luck there. Now Isa coming down the line here. Now Alba getting in on the action. Ooh, Olivia tried to get there. Now Mia. Now Oli. Where is this one going to go? It's going to be Alba. Alba working her way down. Keeping this one going. Asu now trying to keep this one under control. Where is it going to go? What's going to happen here? E oh, look at that. Coming in on the action. Rafa comes in with the steal. Nicely done here, Rafa. Watch out. Ooh, look at that. Nice little tricky play there. And we got a player off their wheels. She's laughing, though. We're good. <laughs> All righty. Alba, you okay? All right. Alba's all right. She gave us the thumbs up. <laughs> so coming back in here on the action, it's going to be, ooh, look at that. Nicely done. Mia with a little back shot there, trying to get this one under control. Rafa coming in down the line here. Issa, you okay? <laughs> you got... Issa having a little trouble with her wheel over here, but she's back in the saddle again. Coming down the line, Rafa going to try and get this one all the way down. And, ooh, look at that. Will it go? Saved on the doorstep. Nicely done. I'm liking the teamwork out here with these players. Coming down the line now. Coming back in on the action. What's going to happen here? Oli. Now it's going to be Azu. <laughs> Rafa coming down, trying to keep this one under control here. Where is it going to go? It's going to be Issa. Issa to Rafa. Rafa, can he get it done? Rafa. Oh, Rafa's going to get it nicely done there. <laughs> Keeping this one going. This is the future of the sport, ladies and gentlemen. All of these kids, the kids that played in the first match, and this match, all of these kids are the future of the sport. Coming down the line, Olivia, can she get it off the post? And Alba with the save. Now Issa, Issa. now Rafa. Ooh, Rafa miscues on that ball. Issa does not miscue. She gets a hold of that one. Nicely done. And Mia going to come in with the steal. Mia with the steal. Coming down the line. Mia. Mia, keeping this one going. Under a minute remaining here in this chucker. Now Rafa coming down around. And look at this. Will it go? Rafa with the steal. Saves that one right on the doorstep. Nicely done. There, and here we go. Mia with the ball. Coming back in here on the action, it's going to be Rafa. Rafa. Rafa working his way down, trying to get this one under control. Can he get this one done? Ooh, Mia coming in, disrupting that play here. Rafa still has possession, though. Rafa in the corner. Running out of time, though. And that's all the time we've got, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for all of the kids out here. They're doing a fantastic job.